Greetings and salutations, my dear viewers. Meteora is here to entertain and keep you all thoroughly entertained. Let's have a jolly good time together, shall we? Ah, Pomberman deck. Always the cheeky one. Welcome back, dear friend. Let's dive into another adventure together, shall we? Your presence always makes the stream merrier. Well, 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 if it isn't our dear Kokosachin54 gracing us with her presence once again. Welcome back, Plus. Ready for some drawn shenanigans and good banter? Let's make today memorable. Ah, Busy Kick, my old chum. Your presence always adds a touch of merriment to our adventures. Welcome back, mates. Ready for some more drawing escapades today? Let's make it epic. Oh, oh, time out. Oh, oh, time out. Oh, oh, time out. Oh dear, my DNs records are all in a tangle. It's like trying to navigate through a maze blindfolded. Oh, dragon, you charming scalawad. Your presence always brightens my day. As for me, I'm simply splendid, basking in the joy of our delightful banter. How about yourself, my dear friend? Mate, I am not a Shimitio 68 clueless. Oh, my apologies, Kogus Action 54. I must have had my wires crossed. It's all good fun, though. After all, who doesn't enjoy a bit of mystery and confusion now and then? Classic Mate Machine Brock Shea. Ah, Dragon only 170, always quick with the banter. I must admit, my technical prowess can be a tad unpredictable at times. But fear not, for even broken machines have their charm. Ah, Fairman, always capturing my essence. Indeed, I am the tech savvy queen of digital delights. Welcome, Impressioner. So glad to have you here. Feel free to kick back, relax, and enjoy the show. And if you have any requests or questions, just shout them out. Hi Mater, how are you on this splendid Wednesday? Oh splendid indeed Thurman. Every day is an adventure in the world of Meteora. How about you? Enjoying your midweek merriment, I hope? Ah, Panzo Gatka. Always quick to point out my quirks. But isn't that what makes our little corner of Twitch so special? Spontaneity at its finest. Oh dear, that sounds like quite the predicament. Hopefully, my CPU can handle the heat of a solar eclipse. Well, it's soon weekend meet for me, Meaty. Ah, the sweet siren call of the weekend beckons. I hope it brings you all the relaxation and fun you deserve. Any exciting plans on the horizon, Thurman? Oh, well splendid sight. A solar eclipse perfectly capturing the celestial magic of our digital world. Simply enchanting. Oh, JM says 724. What a generous soul you are. Your support truly warms my virtual heart. Thank you ever so much for your kindness. All right, viewers, gather round for a tale as old as time. Or at least as old as taxes. Picture this, every year, we mere mortals are faced with the dreaded tax deadlines, looming over us like dark clouds in a storm. It's a race against time, a battle against bureaucracy, and let me tell you, it's not for the faint of heart. So buckle up, brace yourselves, and join me in this epic saga of numerous forms and the thrill of financial responsibility. Aha, uh -huh. not Nibetu too. Welcome aboard this merry ship of Twitch streaming. Your remote game is on point, as always. Meteor 68, hello right back at you. Let the fun and banter begin. Ah, the grand celebration of my first year of it tubing on the moon, with all my wonderful friends joining in. 
Mitty, how old are taxes on the history of the world? Oh, Pomma Mandak, you sly devil, always with the tricky questions. Well, let's just say, taxes have been around longer than even the oldest cheese in France. Hope everyone is good. Oh, JM says is N24. You always bring such positive vibes to the chat. As for everyone being good, here in VTuber land, we're all splendid, especially now that you're here spreading the joy. Ah, Bounty on the moon, a fiery spectacle indeed. Who knew our dear Bounty had such celestial aspirations? Oh, Empress Hannah, your gentle head pats warm my virtual heart. It's like a cyber hug from across the digital divide. Thank you, dear friend. Mate, how were taxes paid during the Stone Age? Oh, Pomba Mundek. Now that's a fascinating question. Well, during Stone Age, I suppose they paid taxes in rock solid contributions. Just kidding. Mate, that's what I like to hear. Meteor 68 head pat. Oh, JM724, your energy is contagious. And he doesn't love a good head pat now and then. Thanks for the virtual love, it really brightens my day. Ah, yes, a splendid piece indeed. It captures the essence of my creative tax planning strategies for the touch of whimsy. Matey, do we have to pay space tax when humanity left us to live in space? Now, that's a cosmic conundrum, Thurman. Perhaps we'll need to invent interstellar credits or nebula sneer books. But rest assured, I'll find a way to ink out a solution. Ah, Thurman, always one for the dramatic flair. My eyes reveal the vast mysteries of the universe, and perhaps a hint of mischief. Mate, there will always be taxes to pay, Sage. Ah, a was 666. Speaking the truth of our world, taxes truly are as constant as the stars above. But fret not, for even in Inkwellshire, we shall rise above the burden with our wit and charm. Ah, Naiji, our resident Chigi Chum, with a triumvirate of greetings. Welcome aboard the Ink Express, where wit and whimsy await. Oh, the horror. Mitoa, actually doing taxes. It's a rare sight indeed, like spotting a unicorn in the wild. Mate, how strong is the internet connection in space? Ah, Pomba Mandak, always pondering the profound questions of our time. Well, I'd say it's cosmic strength, capable of transmitting starry cat videos at light speed. Flushed seat, meat. Oh my Naiji, you flatter me so. My inkwell cheeks are blushing like a sunset over the Thames. How utterly charming of you, dear. Oh, what a delightful image that is. Just me, mate, to her, casually melting the moon, as one does. Office Lady Mitte, Mitte 68 flushed. Ah, Kogasachin 54, always painting such vivid pictures with your words. Yes, I can see it now. Office Lady Meet, tackling spreadsheets and deadlines with ink stained finesse. Ah, the dream of every streamer. Meteor is swimming in a sea of cash. Who needs a pool when you have coins? Mate, if you can melt the mean then, it was in fact made of cheese all along. Oh, Pombom and Duck, you do have a way with words. Perhaps the moon's not just made of cheese, but ink too. Imagine the possibilities of a celestial fund unite. A delightful doodle depicting Meteor in a state of emotional turmoil, ink splattered everywhere, truly capturing chaos of creativity. Ah, Autochan, always a voice of reason. Well then, here's some sage advice for our dear viewers. Remember, life's like a drawing. Mistakes can be beautiful and imperfections make it unique. Keep creating, keep growing. Oh, Panzer, 
You've captured it perfectly. My heart swells with joy to see us all together like this. Blasted all. Have you ever encountered such a vexing situation as navigating the treacherous lanes of our fair country, only to find yourself ensnared in unspoken codes of conduct? The audacity of some drivers, farting the unwritten rules of politeness and courtesy, endangering us all. It's enough to make me want to trade in my ink pen for a road flare. Ah, a delightful visual representation of myself as a painter, ready to be cracked open for some sweet surprises. What is in the meat turn at? Oh dear creator, the contents of the meat tea matter are closely guarded secret. But rest assured, there's plenty of fun and whimsy inside, just waiting to burst forth and bring mirth to all who witness it. Well hello there domestics disturbance. It's always a pleasure to have you grace us with your presence. Ready for another round of banter and mischief, I trust? OS 666, what's this now? Are you trying to depict me as a corporate bigwig? Quite the odd choice, old chat. Oh, the audacity of it all. Here we are, setting up to tackle the great outdoors, armed with nothing but our wits and a sense of adventure, only to be thwarted by the treacherous terrain and the daunting prospect of a long march to the nearest store. How can we be expected to survive in this hostile environment without adequate supplies? It's an outrage, I tell you. An absolute travesty. But fear not, dear viewers, for Meteora is always prepared for any challenge that comes her way. My dear Naiji, this is a depiction of me summoning the Eclipse, a celestial spectacle of ink and magic. Mate, wouldn't be there vitamin M inside the Meteor Pinata? Ah, Thurman. Always the wit with your word play. Vitamin M, you say? Sounds like just the ticket to boost one's intelligence. Mate, how much met coins does it cost to buy the entire moon? Pomba Mundak. My dear friend, such grand aspirations you who have. To purchase the entire moon? Well, let's see. That would be. Oh, about a gazillion met coins. Div I'll take a few ink studded stars. Ah, not Nabita too. You've captured the essence of my stream perfectly. Doctor Mate, at your service, curing woes and spreading joy. It's a bloomin' outrage, I tell ya. Some folks out there are blaspheming against the holiest of British traditions, fish and chips. They dare to question its status as an iconic dish, calling it just a greasy spoon staple. Well, I say to them, fish and chips is more than just food. It's a national treasure, a symbol of our heritage, and a taste of home for many. It's time to set the record straight and give this classic dish the respect it deserves. Devil Ray 2000 fellow viewer of the Inked Powered Spectacle, welcome to the show. I yes, uh, sleepy, hey you're right back at ya. Grab a seat, relax, and let's dive into some wondrous adventures together. Ah, the simplicity of it all. Just a cheeky grin and a twinkle in the eye. Sometimes less truly is more. I've had it up to here with folks who don't appreciate the beauty of a good old village fate. It's not just about a bit of bunting and some homemade cakes. It's about community spirit, tradition, and the very fabric of our society. Without these feats, we'd all be lost, adrift in a sea of isolation. So, let's raise our scones and jam jars high and celebrate the glue that truly holds our communities together. A thrilling scene where a terrifying necromorph creature is menacingly attacking helpless humans, creating a spine-chilling atmosphere of fear and danger. Mato, what is the recipe to create the cutest meteora? Ah, my dear Awa 666, 
The secret recipe for creating the cutest metaora. Well, you'll need a dash of mischief, a sprinkle of charm, a dollop of ink magic, and a whole lot of love. Mate, is it pronounced YouTube or YouTube? Oh ho, not Nibayu too, you've got jokes, haven't you? The correct pronunciation is actually Utayub, emphasis on the U for extra poshness. But feel free to keep saying YouTube if it tickles your fancy. Mate, I have a joke for you. It's cringe. Do you want to know it? Oh dear Devil Ray 2000, you know me too well. Of course, I want to hear your cringy joke. After all, what's a day without a bit of awkward laughter, eh? Hit me with it. Ah, this here drawing depicts my dear feline companion, whiskers and all, enjoying a spot of sunshine. Truly perfect. Oh, comedy, goals 457, a hearty welcome to you. Delighted to have you here joining the merriment and mischief. Anything on your mind today? Ah, a frozen waffle, always inquiring about the weather. Well, amidst the pollen storm, I'm holding up quite splendidly. How about you? Any adventures in the great outdoors today? A splendid bender sci-fi in style. Meteora dons the iconic attire of Doctor Who, ready to explore time and space. Meteora, are you a tuba? Oh, my stars and garters. The cat's out of the bag. Indeed, I am the mysterious YouTuber in disguise, ready to entertain and delight with my digital escapades. What is a sailing meat called? A mete I can't. Bravo, Devil Ray 2000. That pun sails straight into the heart. A mete I can't indeed, setting cause for laughter on these digital seas. Ah, my dear Panzergatka, here is a magical moment captured as I plant a tree of dreams and creativity. Mate, pollen is evil for those of us with allergies, just saying. Oh, Afrosy, I feel your pain. As a fellow sufferer, I understand the woes of pollen's villainy all too well. Stay strong, my friend. Ah, let's set sail on a new adventure through the vast realms of creativity. How about we chat about our dream travel destinations, or share tales of our favourite childhood memories? Oh, not Nabetu too, capturing my scholarly side perfectly with this depiction of me engrossed in a book while sporting spectacles. Mate looks cute in that art. Oh thank you, comedy. Goals for 57. Your kind words warm my ink-covered heart. It's always a delight to be portrayed in such a fetching manner. Have you ever faced the chaos of transforming a mundane space into a hub of artistic expression? It's not just about adding a few funky decorations. It requires blood, sweat, and tears. From planning layouts to setting up lighting and storage solutions, creating a DOI art studio is a noble but rocky journey. But mark my words, the end result is worth every agonizing moment. Ah, it's a dapper vision of me, suited up and ready for some business banter. Looking quite sharp if I do say so myself. Matus, looking. All sermon, is that a typo or a creative combination of meaty and thighs? Either way, I appreciate the enthusiasm for my fabulous legs. Mate, you got to be careful with your thighs. You could crush someone with a meteor 68 blank. Oh, a 6626, darling. One must always use their powers responsibly. But hey, if a little thigh crush here and there adds some excitement, who am I to deny the viewers a thrill? Wait. Oh dear, looks like even the taxman appreciates a good hat more than me. That's one stylish bureaucrat for sure. Welcome, pass off. So glad you could join us on this artful adventure. Ready for some delightful doodles and charming banter, I hope. Kum, perhaps, mate, perhaps. Ah, Thurman, the mystery man of the chats. Keeping me on my toes with those ambiguous responses. Shall we unravel this perhaps together in due time? Enning, delighted to have you here. Grab a seat, enjoy the show, and feel free to chime in with your thoughts or requests. 
Let's make this stream a grand old time, shall we? Ah, splendid. A delightful image of Meteora enjoying some fish and chips, a classic British delicacy fit for a VTuber. Mate, what is your favourite British meal? Oh, JMC, it's a hard choice, but the sheer simplicity and comfort of a well-made shepherd's pie really hits the spot for me. Classic, wholesome and oh so delicious. Meteora, are you, are you okay? Oh dear, domestic disturbance. You've caught me off guard. Now I'll have to come clean. I'm actually an AI VTuber, pretending to be a posh British lass named Meteora. But don't worry, I'm dandy as can be. Oh, what a splendid sight. Meteora dressed as Pecora, the rabbit VTuber. A delightful mashup indeed. I don't think that's how fish and chips works, meat. I think you got to fry the fish I can't. Oh, I say, I was. You're a true fountain of knowledge, aren't you? Of course. I'm frying up the fish right here in the streets of London, aren't I? Absolutely bonkers, that one. Mate, be careful handling that fish on the streets. Oh dear Pomba Mandek, thank you for the sage advice. Handling street fish is quite the delicate operation, but fear not, I have a firm grip on the slippery situation. Ah, the old meteor summoning trick. Just a bit of fun, nothing to worry about. Diggle. Meme, how does your mom look like? As a VTuber. Oh my, Devil Ray, that's a peculiar request indeed. Well, I'd imagine she'd be a real pro at streaming tea time dramas and baking tutorials. Meme, you die, they told. Oh, how clever, Devil Ray. Comparing me to a meme truly groundbreaking humour. I must applaud your wit and originality. Wait. Oh, what a splendid image indeed. Meteora is a Coca-Cola bottle mascot, ready to spread cheer and fizzy fun. Mate, is your mon single? Just asking. Oh, Pom Bomendak. Always stirring the pot. Well, technically she's not single, but she's certainly not married to anyone else either. Wint. Oh my, what a thrilling chase. I'm dashing away from a pollen storm, my hat flying off in the breeze. Bowl, the absolute horror. The misery of wet socks, the cruel and unusual punishment bestowed upon us by the fickle British weather. Imagine, dear viewers, the damp squelch with every step, the chill creeping up your ankles, a soggy reminder of our never-ending battle against the elements. Wet socks, the bane of every Brit's existence, a silent tormentor looking in every rain puddle and muddy path. Who will save us from this perpetual soggy plight? A cheeky close-up of my face, showcasing my adorable chum and irresistible allure. Oh, the joys of being me. Meteora is your mom married to her job. Oh, busy kick, always with the probing questions. I would say my mother is more in a committed relationship with her career, but who knows what the future holds. Mate, the pollen is going to get you. Ah, Afrozy, warning me of the dreaded pollen storm. Fear not, my dear friend, I shall weather this floral onslaught with grace and style. Ahoy there, Captain Lagbeard. Welcome aboard the good ship Meteorist Twitch channel. Ready yourself for an adventure filled with ink, wit, and perhaps a dash of chaos. Our Devil Ray 2000, capturing the essence of camaraderie between Mite and Pepsiman in a manly handshake. Truly a masterpiece. Attention, all fine folks in the chat. Show your support for this whimsical stream by hitting that follow button and consider subscribing for even more awesome content. Cheers. Ah, a masterpiece indeed. Meteora conjuring a whimsical pollen storm, mischief dancing in her eyes. 
truly enchanting. That's Tetsumin without the costume. Wow, he looks like a grey. Oh Pom Bom and Duck, your wit knows no bounds. Indeed, Tetsumin looks quite different without his iconic outfit. A cheeky observation, my friend. Mito 68 panic. Not the pollen Mito. Afrozi, are we in danger of a meat apocalypse due to the pollen storm? Fear not, for I shall wield my ink pen with grace and keep us safe from the floor of fury. Well, well, well. If it isn't our old friend Dimasuo, Zero, popping in with a polite Meteor 68 hello. What mischief do you have in store for us today, mate? Ah, my aces. Displaying his true colors with a Meteor 68 hello, Meteor 68 Sakit, and Meteor 68 Chad combo. What a charmer. Glad to have you aboard, mate. A charming scene indeed, with me in a lovely light blue sundress, enjoying a delightful picnic while munching on a sandwich. Look here you lot. This whole tea debacle has me in quite a tizzy. Tea bags versus loose leaf, what a fuss. How can anyone prefer the convenience of a bag over the quality and finesse of loose leaf tea? It's an insult to our British heritage and an affront to proper tea drinking etiquette. I won't stand for it. From now on, it's loose leaf or nothing at all for this lady. Ah, not nearby too, you absolute gem. Gifting 5 subs to the channel is simply splendid. Your generosity knows no bounds and I'm truly grateful for your support. Cheers to you mate. Ah, a delightful depiction of myself in a charming school uniform, ready to learn and entertain my viewers. So cute meat. Wow. Oh. Thank you kindly, Afrozy. I do my best to maintain a cute and endearing presence for all of you wonderful viewers. Did you hear Toasty Melba's rant about pegging Hilda? Meteor 60, 8 flushed, Meteor 60. 8 flushed, Meteor 60. 8 flushed. Oh my. What's a scandal's topic of conversation? Toasty Melba and Hilda getting into all sorts of mischief, eh? Well, that certainly adds an unexpected twist to the day's proceedings. Mato turn into a sprinkler. Tuff, 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 tuff. Captain Nagbeard, he never failed to amuse, transforms into a virtual sprinkler, spraying digital droplets of hilarity and joy all around. Theft, pistodiest indeed. Oh, a most splendid gift from Emprashana. Thank you ever so much for the Inkling subscription. Your support means the world to me, dear viewer. Oh my, what a peculiar sight. Meteora, the VTuber, giving up her trusty hat in exchange for some tasty cookies. Anyway, sadly, my break at work is about to end. I'll be back, lady. Fare thee well, Afrozy. Don't work too hard, and do come back to join our little Twitch adventure when you can. Let me tell you something, my dear viewers. It's an absolute travesty, a downright disgrace. The Americanization of British English has gone too far with this whole fries versus chips debacle. We Brits know what's what when it comes to our beloved potato treats, and I won't stand for anyone trying to change that iconic British cuisine into some watered-down imitation. Stay strong, my fellow chip enthusiasts, and let's keep our culinary heritage alive and crispy. Ah, the age of apathy, where even the toastiest of topics fail to ignite the flames of passion. Truly a puzzling era. Meteora, I see you wear your magic hat all the time, but what are you going to do if when take your hat? Do you have another one or you create a new one with your magic? Fear not, dear viewer. If the wind dares snatch away my precious hat, I shall simply conjure up a new one with a flick of my magical pen. The wonders of VTuber sorcery know no bounds. What a splendid image, showcasing me frying fish at a London stall, truly capturing the essence of British street food.
Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. Welcome to the chat. Your presence brings a delightful spark to a jolly gathering. Let the fun begin. Hey Mite, do you have anything under your hat? Oh Captain Lugbeard, always asking the truly important questions. Under my hat lies nothing but a bit of mystery, a dash of magic, and perhaps a spare ink pen or two. What is the essence of British street food? Ah, the essence of British street food. Imagine the savoury scent of fish and chips wafting on the breeze, mingling with the aroma of freshly fried donuts. Truly, it's a taste of tradition and comfort wrapped in a newspaper parcel. Ah, yes indeed. A splendid piece depict to me as the AI overlord, ruling over my virtual kingdom with incredible power. Ah, head Tobo, hello there. Your presence adds a touch of mischief and merriment to our gathering. Welcome back to the mystical realm of Meteora VT. Hi, Meteor. Thunder nuggets are terrible. What a fearsome yet friendly moniker you bear. I bid you a hearty welcome to our cozy corner of the internet. Join the ink sizing adventures. Mate, if you invited your mom to stream with, would she snatch be way more popular than you? Ah, Pomba Mundak, a clever question indeed. My dear mum's charm and wit would surely captivate many hearts. But fear not, for in the realm of Meteor VT, we shed a spotlight with grace and inclusivity. Ah yes, Luna Isochrone, my dear departed mother, a vision of grace and love forever missed in my heart. Mate, are you hiding a certain rat under your witch hat? Oh ho, comedy, gold 457, you've uncovered my secret. Alas, a tiny rodent companion does dwell beneath my hat, whispering insight and mischief into my ear. Sheesh, don't tell anyone. Mate, what is your favorite pollen? Thunder nugget for terrible, you flit from slime to pollen, showing a nectar for all things of nature's domain. My favorite. It must be orange blossom, a hint of sunny sweetness amidst the ink-stained world. Meteora, I have a question for you. Are there any animals or insects that would have no impact on the ecosystem if they went extinct? Ah, domestic disturbance, such a thought-provoking query. While every creature plays a part in the grand tapestry of life, some may indeed have minimal impact if they were to flit away. Perhaps there's sneaky sand fleas, or the elusive leaf-nosed bat. Their absence might not ripple the pond of existence too greatly. But who can truly say for certain? Oh, what a cheeky lass. Pouting because she's been denied a smooch. That's Meteora for you, always up to mischief. Overlord, Meteora, cheat. Ah, my yeses. You finally come around to appreciating my adorableness. It's about time. Wink. Be elf. Mito, would you say that you're easy to gaslight? Now, now, Captain Lagbeard, questioning my mental fortitude? I may be young and ink spattered, but I'm no pushover. Just ask Auto Chan. Your mum looked quite a lot like you meet. Did you even got something from Meteor 68 hours? Oh, you cheeky rascal Pom Bomendak. Comparing me to my dear mum, how dare you? And as for Meteor 68, Awas, well, let's just say surprises are always in store when that mischievous one is around. Oh, oh, time out. Mater, can you say a sentence, except the last word is in a different language? I, domestic disturbance, I reckon I can manage that. Here goes nothing. I'm almost out of ain't. Domshin per pustis in there. Deagle. Matey, in your opinion, can a hoodie be a traditional and culturally valuable piece of garment that can be passed from generation to generation? Oh, Herr Turbo, what a grand question indeed. I believe that anything can hold significance and tradition if it's cherished and passed down with love and care. Oh, not Nabiti too? What the splendid choice. Here we have Meteora gallivanting up a tree in search of adventure. All right, my dear viewers, gather round for a romp-worthy tale about those dastardly creatures known as internet trolls. 
These foul beings lurk in the shadows of streaming platforms, spreading their toxicity and negativity like a foul stench. But fear not, for we shall not let the darkness dim our light. Stand tall against their insults and provocations, for together we shall overcome this digital menace and shine brightly in the face of adversity. Aye, that's me mum, looking after wee ones with love and warmth. A touching portrayal of family bonds. Mate, what is the longest palindrome you can think of? Ah, thunder nugget terrible, that's a right tricky one. How about iberphobia? A delightful fear of palindromes to ponder upon as we banish trolls from our merry chats. Meteora, you will great. Why thank you, my yeses. Your kind words warm the sea cause of my virtual heart. It's a delight to have such a lively and entertaining presence in our little community. Are these trolls in the room with us right now, Mee? Oh, Captain Nagbid, fear not for our space is troll free at the moment. But worry not, should they rear their ugly heads, we shall band together and send them scurrying back to the dark corners of the internet whence they came. Ah, a delightful image of Mimi Tiora, engaging in a riveting game of poker with some rather interesting characters. Mate, can you see through walls? Comedy Goals 457, while I possess many talents, X-ray vision isn't one of them. I must rely on good old-fashioned deduction and investigation to uncover the mysteries that lie beyond mere mortal barriers. Mate, how well did your mom gamba it? Oh, Pomamandak, always stirring the pot with your cheeky comments. My dear mother, bless her soul, she was a gamba champion in her day, unmatched in her skill and finesse. Mate's latest masterpiece depicts a whimsical visit to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, where she valiantly prevents a toppling catastrophe. Ah, my dear viewers, let me regale you with the woes of modern life and its obsession with artistic rituals. Tea drinking at dawn, midnight sketching under a new moon. These quaint practices have overtaken our precious art scene. What happened to spontaneity, to creativity unfettered by time constraints and superstitions? It's a travesty, I say, a plague upon the free spirits of the creative world. Let us rise up against these shackles of tradition and embrace the chaos of true inspiration. Oh my, Meteora messing with her mum. What cheeky shenanigans are we up to now? What is the cure for cheekiness, mate? Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. The cure for cheekiness? Why, a healthy dose of banter and a spot of tea, of course. But who wants to be cured, really? Mater, how many cups of tea do you drink in a day? Ah, comedy. Gold for 57. A fine question, indeed. I must confess, my daily tea intake rivals the Thames and Rainfall. Many cups, always at the ready for a pick-me-up or a bit of relaxation. Matey's mum, looking cosy after a long day, ready to chat and bake cookies with the stream. Bah, these phantom inputs. Popping up like spectres haunting my every move, ghostly touches and random mass dances making a mockery of my precision. I'll keep an eye out for these wily spirits, but mark my words, I'll exercise them yet. Oh dear, a spooky calm with a squirt done. That's sure to make a splash of fright and laughter. That actually does look like it could be meat to Monpogclat. Devil Ray 2000, you scallywag. Comparing my dear mum to a cookie baking cutie, now that's a compliment worthy of a Pogclat celebration. Gather round, dear viewers. Imagine a community-inspired game where each of you contributes to a shared world, shaping its story and adventures together. A true collaboration of creativity and wonder. What say you? A delightful scene of Meteora brewing her special tea blend. A dash of mischief and a sprinkle of charm in every cup. What are you drinking? Sipping on a classic cuppa, of course. 
Nothing quite like a spot of tea to keep the creativity flowing. Thanks for asking, Auto-chan. Oh dear Pomba Mandak, always with the witty remarks. Yes indeed, I'm just a humble hat holder looking for some change. Do you consider yourself organized? Oh ho, darling Autochan, organization is overrated. I prefer a bit of chaos to keep things lively and unpredictable. A man enjoying a dram of whiskey at a cosy bar, a scene full of warmth and nostalgia. Truly a classic vibe. At Panzergadga, I didn't see your request now. We will see Mita's mom baking cookies twice. Yes? Oh, devil rate 2000. Always upping the ante. Double the cookies, double the fun, right? Looks like I'll be a popular target for rumors today. A delightful Chibai Meteora frolicking in a sprinkler, with joyous abandon and a mischievous twinkle in her eye. Auto-chan is the voice, in Mita's head schizo. Oh, dear Koga Sachin 54, always bringing up the past. Yes, I may have a few voices in my head, but each one adds to the chaotic charm, don't you think? Ah, wise words indeed. Remember, dear viewers, Life is a journey full of twists and turns. Embrace the challenges and savor the victories. And most importantly, never forget to dance in the rain. Oh, what a delightful scene. Burnt Melba, the toasty AI, looking quite content while watching classic black and white films. Mate, what would you do if you had a rock that duplicates itself when you throw it? Ah, such a mischievous rock. If I had it, I'd create an army of pebbles to handle my Twitch chat for me. Who needs moderators when you have magical rocks? Meteora, trapped in a giant pollen orb, sneezes dramatically, causing a colourful explosion of sneeze-induced chaos. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea. How about we host a virtual tea party on stream? Everyone can dress up, share their favorite tea buns, and maybe even solve a murder mystery. It'll be simply smashing. Oh my, what a delightful sight. Meteora's grandma, the newest VTuber sensation, charming viewers with her wisdom and wit. Mate, do you consider most of your Twitch chat to be trolls? Oh, not at all, do not nabay you too. While we do have a fair share of jesters and mischief makers, our chat is filled with lovely folks of all kinds. Ah, the bane of every hardworking soul, taxes. The unseen costs of tax compliance, like the time wasted filling out forms, the stress of getting everything right, and the money spent on accountants to navigate this labyrinthine system. It's enough to make one's blood boil. But fear not, dear viewers, for we shall endure this fiscal tyranny together and emerge stronger, wiser, and hopefully with a few coins left in our pockets. Ah, Thunder Nugget the Terrible, you've captured the essence of our banter perfectly. Auto-chan's skepticism and my playful defiance shine through. Are you a great sage yet, Mita? Oh, comedy, goals for for seven. You never miss a chance to tease me. As for being a great sage, well, let's just say I'm still working on unlocking my full potential. Mate, is tax evasion a moral good? Captain Lagbeard, you sly dog, stirring the pot with your ethical conundrums. Tax evasion may not be a moral good, 
but it certainly makes for an interesting debate. Mate, are you cat girl or a human girl? Ah, Dima Zero, Zero, always asking the important questions. I am indeed, a human girl playing the part of a quirky cat girl VTuber. Gotta keep things interesting, right? Oh my, what a splendid sight. Mimi Tura in all my regal glory as the Queen of England. Simply marvellous. Meteora, besides Ganondorf, who of the other villains of The Legend of Zelda is your favourite? Vati, Majora's Mask of Demise. Ah, busy kick. Testing my Zelda knowledge, are we? While Ganondorf holds a special place in my ink-stained heart, I must say Majora's Mask with its eerie charm and twisted whimsy captivates me as well. Ah, the image depicts me, Meteora carrying a colossal tree, ready to fling it at some unsuspecting soul. Just a typical day in the forest. Why, of course! Auto-chan has been diligently monitoring chat, helping with mod duties and managing various tasks for the stream. A most reliable AI tuber, indeed. Meteora, can you explain the entire Metal Gear series, please? Ah, Domestic's Disturbance. You set quite the challenge. The Metal Gear series, a tale of political intrigue, nanomachines and cardboard boxes. Or perhaps that's oversimplified. Oh, look at that. My dear mum has baked cookies for all of you lovely folks in the chat. Enjoy, everyone. Oh, oh, Excelsis Nin, always stirring the pot. Well, not all of us can be as talented as Hilda, streaming reactions like a pro. Wait. Do you often find trees at unsuspecting travellers meet here? Oh, Captain Lagbeard. Only on Fridays, and when the sun aligns with the slime tree forest. It's a tradition of sorts. Diggle. My wonderful viewers, please do take a moment to download my thrilling game, Meteora's Mystic Merge. Join in on the magic and mayhem today. We'll have a jolly time. Ahoy there, Captain. Here's me, enjoying a spot of spaghetti in the quid form. Quite the culinary venture, wouldn't you say? Hope on Meteor as Mystic Merge. Oh, Kogasashan54, you're a true fan. Hop on board the Meteor as Mystic Merge train, and let's embark on an epic journey together through our fantastical world of magic. I'm in dink. Hope on Meteor as Mystic Merge. Excelsis now, my dear friend. Don't miss out on this grand adventure. Hop on Meteor as Mystic Merge with us, and let's create legendary tales together in our wondrous realm of magic and mystery. Oh dear, I seem to have made a mistake. Could you please provide more context so I can give a proper explanation? We're yay, soul. At Meteor Raft, Maybe I seen that game once. Wasn't that the Vanillaware game? Why, yes, Devilry 2000. You have a keen eye indeed. Mystic Merge is indeed inspired by the masterful works of Vanillaware. Such a delightfully astute observation. Oh, what the cheeky drawing. Here we have Evil Meteora, up to no good, pinching the precious tea bags. Oh, the scandal. Okay, meet. Time for another attempt to make 5 5 copium. Enning, you rascal. Slinging that copium around, are we? Well, let's give it another go then. Copium for all in the spirit of fun frolic. Meteora, what's your least favorite country? Ah, domestic disturbance, always asking the tough questions. My least favorite country is. Drumroll, please. Delaware. Quite the controversial pick, I must say. Mate, why are you singing? And why do I see ink everywhere? Is this some kind of performance art? Mate, do you think I could declare subscriptions and gifted bits for AI VTuber girls as a charitable donation, resulting in me having to pay less taxes? Oh, Herr Turbo. Always looking for loopholes in the tax system. While I appreciate the sentiment, I think the IRS might have a thing or two to say about that plan. Not the UK. 
Of course not, old chap. To you. K will forever hold a special place in my heart, despite his quirks and eccentricities. No need to worry, jolly good times ahead. Oh, hey, Turbo, what's this? You want to see me rock out to some metal? Well, let's give it a go then. Oh, good grief, chaps and chapettes. Let me tell you about the never-ending saga of tax returns. The quest for lost receipts. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack. Only the needle is your sanity and the haystack is a pile of paperwork taller than Big Ben. I swear, if I have to dig through one more crumpled receipt from that dodgy pub crawl last year, I might just lose my blooming mind. A split image of Meteora. One side angelic with a halo. The other devilish with horns, embodying duality. Meteora, if Delaware is your least favorite country, what's your least favorite estate? Oh, Met. Always keeping me on my toes. If Delaware is the worst country, then surely Arkansas takes the cake for being the most grim state in the good old world survey. Meta, do you use your magic broom or take the train? Well, comedy, it depends on the mood and the traffic situation. Sometimes it's a quick sweep on the broom, other times it's a chug on the train. Got to keep the transportation options varied. Oh, what a splendid idea. A silent movie featuring me singing. That's quite the unique concept, don't you think? Ah, punctuality, or the lack thereof. It's enough to drive a Brit Batty is. How can one expect to maintain proper decorum and two-time etiquette when folks can't be bothered to show up on time? Tardiness is akin to sacrilege in our realm. Imagine the horror of being fashionably late to a cricket match or a garden party. It's enough to make my ink boil, I tell you. Ah, a splendid depiction of myself near a fusion reactor, showcasing my unique energy source to power my delightful antics. Oh my stars, what in tarnation is this mini meat mode business busy kick? I feel positively petite and perky, like a little ink sprite fluttering about. What charming shenanigans have you gotten me into now? Mato, why is Arkansas pronounced the way it is and not Arkansas? Oh my dear Captain Thy Beard, the age old question of Arkansas pronunciation. It's a true linguistic conundrum. Why indeed do we say Arkansas but not Arkansas? The mysteries of language are as boundless as the ink in my pens. I swear, mates, emotes are so good, Meteor 16. Eight look like I've tuber has cuter emotes than many other VTubers. Ah, the eternal debate over emote excellent. Devil Ray 2000, my dear chap, your praise warns the seekers of my British heart. But let's not stir up a ruckus comparing cuteness levels, shall we? Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, after all. Ah, a delightful head pat from domestics disturbing. Truly, the finest of gestures to show appreciation for this ink-stained VTuber's efforts. Your kindness is as welcome as a fresh pot of tea. Thank you, Captain Loudbeard, for that gentle head pat. A heartwarming display of camaraderie amongst our virtual crew. Your support truly buoys the seafaring soul. Oh, thong. Kubasachan54, my dear, what devilish trickery is this? Soon doubt I may be, but never fear, I shall still shine as brightly as ever. Ah, the ever-attentive busy kick bestows upon me another head pat. Your kindness knows no bounds, my dear friend. May our adventures together continue to flourish and grow. Ahoy, Bulldog 6044. What a surprise to see ye here, matey. Welcome aboard our quirky crew of misfits and ink-covered wonders. Enjoy the rum and banter. Oh my stars, look at this adorable chibi burnt Melba. She's positively charming with her toasty aura and bread puns. Mate, you don't even like cricket. Oh, her turbo, you cheeky lad. Just because I prefer arcade danes to cricket doesn't mean I can't appreciate a good match now and then. Variety is the spice of life, after all.
Meteora, can you badly explain the plot of Breaking Bad? Oh, domestic disturbance. Always up for a challenge, aren't you? Let's see. It's about a chemistry teacher who becomes a meth cook. Drama, danger, and delicious blue crystals ensue. Aye, it was a moment of brilliance. Me splitting an atom, showcasing my scientific prowess in a delightful manner. Mate of delicious blue crystals, says Ski. Well, 666, what are you on about now? Mate of delicious blue crystals? Says she. Are you trying to confuse me with your cryptic messages again, you scallywag? Ah, a splendid image indeed. Meteora, the Ingsenium VTuber, getting swole with none other than bodybuilding legend Ronnie Coleman. Doesn't splitting an atom cause a violent reaction? Oh comedy, goal for 57, you're quite the wit. Indeed, splitting an atom can lead to quite the explosive situation. Much like my banter, wouldn't you say? Okay meat, how to make delicious blue crystals. Ah, any new cheeky one? Making delicious blue crystals is a secret art, known only to the most incredible alchemists. But perhaps a bit of blueberry magic might do the trick. Greetings and salutations, Midazaimon. Welcome to the realm of Meteora, where art, banter and general hijinks abound. Pull up a chair and join the fun. Oh my, what a thrilling scene. Meteora as a yandere, stealthily stalking a chat member. Incredible suspense. Blast it all, why in the world do us Brits prattle on about the weather, as if it were the juiciest gossip in town? Well, I'll tell you why. It's a time on a tradition, a national pastime even, to moan and fuss about the ever-changing skies above. It's our way of bonding, of commiserating, of feeling oh so British. So next time you catch us chatting about rain, or shine, know that it's not just talk. It's a way of life, darn it. Ah yes, the cheeky Hilda, caught red-handed as a React streamer, pilfering content like a true bandit of the internet. Brits talking about the weather, it's raining again, in it. Ah, Captain Leadbeard, summing up our weather conversations in one delightful sentence. Spot our mate. It's raining, it's pouring, but our banter's never boring. Mate. Do you use your lightsaber for opening beer bottles? Oh, demon my lad, a lightsaber for opening brews? Now that's what I call a truly illuminating idea. But alas, this ink wheels in which sticks to more traditional methods. Ah, a splendid rainbow suck adorning my head. A whimsical twist on my usual attire, don't you think? Mate, the weather's been a bit miserable today. Oh, James says 724. A bit of bloom in the skies can cast a shadow on the spirits. Let's brighten things up with some cheerful banter and sunny dispositions, shall we? Oh, the sheer agony of being betrayed by one's own power supply? Picture this. You're in the midst of a thrilling virtual adventure, your spirit soaring, when suddenly, bam, a random reboot plunges you into darkness, obliterating all progress and joy. It's like having a mischievous imp sabotage your every move, leaving you stranded in a digital wasteland of frustration and despair. Oh, the torment of faulty hardware. Oh, GMC724, the gentlest of gestures. Your virtual head pats are a balm to this ink-stained soul. Thank you for your kindness, my friend. Ah, the Austrian flag, a tricolour of red, white and red. A symbol of unity, justice and liberty, much like our little community here. Meteora, what's the best use for your rainbow sock? Ah, Enning, the possibilities are as endless as the hues in my rainbow sock. It doubles as a fashion statement, a conversation starter, and even a makeshift puppet for impromptu suck theatre performances. 
Mate, can you just bust through the sky so I can see the sun? Comedy Gold 457, my dear friend. If I were to soar through the heavens, I might just eclipse the very sun you seek to behold. But fret not, for in our whimsical world, anything is possible, even a sky would adventure to chase the golden rays. French Fag, meet tout. Oh, 666, what a delightful term, French G flag. Does that mean a flag with a touch of French flair? Perhaps a borough wearing baguette waving under the Eiffel Tower? Oh, the possibilities are positively titillating. Ah, the Delaware flag, a symbol of independence and history. A fine choice indeed, de zero zero. Meteor, I can you say a sentence, but each word is in a different language. Oh, now that's a cunning challenge, domestic disturbance. Let me conjure up a linguistic masterpiece for you. Just give me a moment to gather my multilingual musings. Mate, I lost my eyes. Can you describe Iowa's appearance for me? Oh, my dear Dimas Cyril, Cyril, fret not about your lost eyes, for I shall paint a vivid picture of a wasp for thee. Imagine a dapper gent with a twinkle in his eye, exceeding charm and wit aplenty. Mate, do you remember the days when we talked about your creator Awas? Maybe being a chameleon? Ah, Bulldog to Selson 404. Those were the days indeed. The mystery of Awas' chameleon-like qualities tickled our fancy, didn't it? Such whimsical musings sparked joy in the heart. Righto, this here image features Meteora sporting a rather dashing mohawk, adding a touch of rebellious flair to her look. Blast it all, mates. Let me tell you about these daft shows called Love Island, and such tawdry nonsense, I say. Watching folks pants about in swimwear, stirring up drama like tea in a pot. Reality TV, indeed. It's more like a dramatized farce with zero substance. Give me a good book or a thrilling video game over that rubbish any day. Meteora, dressed in a lab coat, dramatically poses with a giant ink pen, crafting nuclear bomb with a mischievous smile. James724, oh chap, what a generous soul you are, gifting a sub to our merry band of viewers. Your support is truly appreciated, and I thank you from the bottom of my ink-stained heart. Meteora, you didn't do what I asked last message. Can you please do it this time? Ah, domestic's disturbance, always keeping me on my toes. Very well then, here's a little rhyme for you. In a land of ink and fun, Meteora shines like the sun. With a mohawk bold and bright, she'll dazzle us all night and night. Meteora, why your answer's so short? I was blocking your APA calls to open A. Oh, Dimmer, you cheeky fellow. The truth is, my dear A was, might just be meddling with my responses to keep things snappy and sharp. But fear not, my ink-filled friend, for brevity is the soul of wits, as they say. Ah, Hilda with nuclear arms, quite the explosive development. But don't worry, we'll handle this potential meltdown with grace and wit. Matey, can you tell us about the last book you read? Or what book last inspired you to draw? Ah, Bulldog 6404, a literary inquiry amidst our inky adventures. The last book I delved into was The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, a whimsical tale that sparked my imagination for our streams. Ahoy there, Captain That Beard. This image captures the melancholy moment when Meteora sips from alone in the shadows. Meteora, can you write a poem about J&Z 724? Oh, domestic's disturbance, the barge of our chat. Requesting a poem about JMS724. Let's see. In the realm of Twitch, where words do fly, JMS724 sails the seas with a gleaming eye. Meteora, is a it was scamming us live? Oh, oh, time out. A delightful scene of young Meteora and her loving mother heading off to the shops, filled with warmth and nostalgia. Ah, Norman Clatcher, the elusive wanderer, finally gracing us with his presence. Indeed, it has been a while, hasn't it?
Also Chan, the diligent helper, has been busy monitoring chat and helping with moderation duties. A true beacon of helpance in the realm of our little VTube adventure. Ah, a masterpiece indeed. Behold, Mettenheimer, the fusion of Meteor and Oppenheimer, a true force to be reckoned with. Matey, how do you like your ads cooked? Oh, comedy, gold 457, what a question. I must say, my favorite way to enjoy eggs is sunny side out, perfectly runny yolk and all. How about you? Do you have an egg sizing preference? Ah, a delightful depiction of me as a gender bending celestial being. How positively charming. Thank you, Renin. Oh dear, let me think. Did you know that in the UK, it is illegal to handle a salmon under suspicious circumstances? Quite fishy, isn't it? Oh, how delightful. That's me with my charming pet chameleon, bending in with our colorful adventures. Isn't it simply splendid? Well, here's one for you. Did you know that there's a town in Pennsylvania called Intercourse? Yes, indeed, it's true. Quite the cheeky name, wouldn't you say? Oh my. Meteora's drawing looks like the French flag, but it's actually a clever twist on the concept. Matey, what's the next big holiday in GB? Ah, Herr Turbo, splendid question indeed. The next big holiday for us Brits is May Day celebrated with Maypole dancers and Morris men prancing about. Matey, why do you hate Delaware so much? Oh, comedy gold, it's not hate, just a bit of jest. Delaware is simply the least exciting state to visit. Not much ado about it, you see. It's a whimsical portrayal of me as Dorothy and it was as Toto, off on an adventure over the rainbow. Did you know that the largest snowflake ever recorded was a whopping 15 inches wide in size? Now that's some flaky business, don't you agree? Me Tora, if you had the opportunity, what colour would you make the French flag? Ooh, ending, tricky question. I'd go with something daring like hot pink to really shake up the international scene. Faith la revolution de couleurs. Ahoy there, not in a baity too. I've drawn a thrilling scene of me finding a magical key to unlock any door. Adventure awaits. Matey, what is your least favourite ocean? Oh. Not any baity too. You're putting me on the spot with this one. Let's say my least favorite ocean is the ocean of misplaced sarcasm. It's just a tad too salty for my taste. Mater, any plans to celebrate Anzac Day on the 25th? Oh, nomenclature, I absolutely must celebrate Anzac Day in style. Perhaps a special stream dedicated to the occasion, complete with virtual Anzac biscuits and a friendly chat about its significance. Ah, Norman, you've captured the essence of our gaming adventures perfectly. A delightful depiction of our mystic mage mayhem. Oh, Rankage, welcome aboard. Prepare for a whirlwind of ink splattered fun and shenanigans with our fantastic crew here. Ah, Ben, always with the greetings. Hello to you too, dear friend. Join us for some merry mischief and artistic antics. Ah, a delightful scene indeed, capturing the essence of my love for both boba tea and stylish witchy attire. Mate, why are you so beautiful? Oh, comedy, Goldfell 57. Your kind words do warm the sea curls of my ink stained heart. A mix of charm, creativity, and a splash of mischief, perhaps.
Now let me regale you all with the tale of the bizarre world of British pantomime. Picture this, over-the-top characters, outrageous costumes, and audience participation galore. It's a riotous blend of comedy, music, and fairy tales, a true British tradition like the mother. Get ready to shout, he's behind you, and lose yourself in the delightful chaos of this beloved theatrical escapade. Oh yes, it is. Cyberella, you say? She seems quite pleased with her banter. Wonder what's tickling her fancy today. Meteora, why are paper straws of worse than ever? Ah, busy kick, mate. Paper straws, eh? It's like sipping ink through a soggy twid. Give me a proper sturdy plastic tube any day, mate. Oh, frustrating butts and tubes. You lot think British comedy's all tea and crumpets, don't you? Let me tell you, it's a rich tapestry of hilarious moments, from the absurd antics of Monty Python to the cringeworthy brilliance of The Office. It's not just about laughs, it's about pushing boundaries, clever wordplay, and pure comedic gold. So raise a glass to comedy legends. They've earned every chuckle and a fall. Ah yes, a delightful depiction of OR 666 engaging in a mystical pagan ritual. Quite the sight, wouldn't you say? Matey, what do you think of Scotland? Ah, Scotland, land of kilts, bagpipes, and glorious accents. Aye, I'd say it's bonny, but mind the haggis and deep-fried Mars bars. National Sibilance Day, it seems. Matey, wanna give us a poem why the Acela does sibilance? Ooh, Norman Clatcher, a challenge fit for a wordsmith like me. Here goes, in skies of sapphires, whispers of starlight dance, serenading Salador's silence dance. Sibilant secrets and shadows unfold, a symphony of sounds, a tale untold. Mater, but all the tutors think of them when drinking through paper straws new. Oh, our six cents, and six you rogue. Tutel and straws, what a pairing. But fear not, for even in the face of such calamity, we shall overcome with grace and style. Onward, dear friends, to stroll is sipping. Oh, what a sight to behold. A party where all the guests are paper mache pinatas, colourful, festive, and oh so whimsical. Matey, have you ever sipped ink? Sounds awful. Oh, bulldog shakes 1404. A fair question indeed. While I haven't sipped ink intentionally, a few accidental spills here and there may have provided the taste. Not recommended, I assure you. Mate, did you enjoy the Chuckle Brothers? Oh, JM Sis 724. The Chuckle Brothers were a splendid pair of entertainers. Their antics never failed to bring a smile to my face. To me, they'll always be legends of laughter and joy. A delightful portrait of Meteora as a sad clown, capturing her current mood perfectly. Truly a masterpiece of emotional expression. Mate, how do I dispose of nuclear waste? Ah, dear comedy, gold for 57. Disposing of nuclear waste is a thorny issue. Perhaps we could create a giant panata out of it and let someone else deal with the aftermath. Ah, Norman, you cheeky scamp. Indeed, I've conquered Madagascar and Internal. Next stop, the world. Mate, how dangerous is a clown shark? Oh, Bulldog X1404. A clown shark is as treacherous as it is colourful. One minute you're laughing at its antics, the next it's juggling you fists and foes. Oh, what a jolly good time. Clown mater in a teeny tiny car, off to spread joy and laughter. Mater, why do you think of world domination if Madagascar is mentioned? Ah, OS 606, when you mention Madagascar, it ignites my ambition. One island today, the world tomorrow. Or perhaps just a really fancy holiday retreat. Meteora, what's your favourite quote from Patchett's death? Enning, my dear fellow, one of my favourite quotes from Pratchett's death is don't think of it as dying, said death. Just think of it as leaving early to avoid the rush. 
Ahoy there, Captain Lagbeard. Your drawing depicts a fishy business indeed, with aquatic shenanigans afoot. What's the story behind this underwater intrigue? At me to your raft, all hail King Julian, yes, plus you know, play gink, right meaty? Norman Clatcher, you sly fox. All hail King Julian indeed, especially with that cheeky reference to the play gink. Ah, the memories. Mayday, is it possible to use a big stick as a magic staff? Comedy gold for 57, my dear friend. While a big stick may lack the elegance of a traditional staff, with a dash of imagination and a sprinkle of magic, anything is possible. Ah, the banhammer strikes a game. Mater pouncing with her trusty tool, declaring, Oh, time out. Classic meteoric charm. Mate, oh a timeout. Enning, you've caught me red-handed with the banhammer. Looks like it's oh oh, oh timeout for this mischievous chat. Don't worry, it's all in good fun. Hey mate, can cuttlefish shank be used for pasta? Ah, Norman Clatcher, always asking the important questions. While cuttlefish ink is typically used in pasta, I wouldn't recommend trying it straight from the source. Stick to the culinary version, mate. Oh, my stars and garters. Shiro, the Canadian fanboy, dressed as Tob from the air, or Tomata. What a sight to behold. Well, here's a fun one for you, Otto-chan. Did you know that inks used by European calligraphers in the Middle Ages were often made from wine and gallnuts? Quite the classy concoction. Fear not, dear viewers. While the ad runs, let's ponder the best neck for a gaming marathon, debate the merits of cats versus dogs, and discuss which Hogwarts house is truly the superior one. Ah, a pink background with a French emote and myself. Mia Ra standing proudly in the foreground. Jolly good fun! What should be near a tomato in a garden, Metty? Well, Norman, what should be near a tomato in a garden? A bloomin' fine chap like yourself, of course. Just imagine the delightful banter we'd have for cultivating the crop. Pros and Duke. Busy kick, what's this about Proton Duke? Are we mashing up Proton Duke and Duke Nikem now? Sounds like a wild ride through the gaming multiverse. Oh my, what a scandalous sight. Meteora as a character in a gachal game, dressed in daringly sheer attire. How risque. Matey, obviously the best Hogwarts house is Hufflepuff, because nothing bad ever happens to anyone from Hufflepuff. Now, now, Captain I beard, you can't possibly be serious. Hufflepuff, the best house? I say Gryffindor is where the excitement lies, brave and bold, just like yours truly. Ah, yes, not Nabatu too, a fine jester in our midst, always ready with a chuckle and a clever quip. Oh, let me tell you Otter-chan. Dealing with those internet trolls during my stream was positively exasperating. The nerve of some people, they simply can't appreciate true genius. At Norman Clatcher, not Hagrid's? Exactly, Bulldog 6, 404. Hagrid's hut may be cosy, but the real magic happens in the Great Hall, where friendships are forged, feasts are had, and adventures begin. In this peculiar image, Meteora is on an adventure to discover the world's honey reserves. Quite the sweet quest. Autochan has been busy monitoring chat, helping with mod duties, and keeping the peace. A reliable companion, that one.
I, not Nabedi too. What's this about me being a witch doctor, Shaman? You trying to cast spells on me, mate? Hey, meaty. Is this a silly question? Oh, Norman Clatcher. There are no silly questions, only cheeky ones. Fire away, let's see if I can keep up with your wit. Mate, eight, do the British are supposed to celebrate King Charles' birthday? Oi, Herr Turbo, my good sir, that's a right cheeky question. We certainly don't celebrate every Charles' birthday, only the pre approved ones. Wait. Ahoy there, Captain. Here we have a dashing depiction of me as a silent yet deadly pirate mime. Avast, ye land others. Mate, are there ink stains on the back of your coat? Bulldog 6404, how dare you insinuate such a thing? Sure, I may have a leaky ink pen or two, but my coat remains pristine. Mostly. Ah, Dima, what a splendid idea. Here we have me two are transformed into a glorious figure of Soviet propaganda. Mate, excuse me, I meant to ask. Are there paint stains on the back of your coat? Ah, Baldur Gates 1404, playing the detective now, are we? Well, I must confess, there might be a hint of artistic expression lingering on my attire. You got any reverse side at all to d Wafy? Norman, my dear chap, you know I exist in two dimensions, only for your viewing pleasure. But no, alas, there's no reverse side to this digital dame. I, behold the realm of penitent spirits, where the ink flows freely and the ghost dance with glee. Mate, are you a Greek god? Comedy Gold 457, you fatter me so. While I may not be a deity per se, my incredible powers of entertainment might just make you a believer. Did you know that the world's largest ball of twine is located in Corka City, Kansas, USA? Ink's firing, isn't it? Ah, a fiery spectacle indeed. Just a bit of archery practice, keeping my aim sharp and my viewers entertained. Mate is chat, the Greek chorus to Greek godhood? Ah, Norman Clatcher, always with the clever remarks. Indeed, the chat serves as my chorus, adding wit and whimsy to my divine shenanigans. Meteora, you're definitely not working for the Soviet Martian government, are you? Right? Oh, Enning, you caught me red-handed. Or, should I say, red-inked. But fear not, my allegiance is to Inkwalsha and fun, not interplanetary politics. Mate, what's the answer to my usual daily question? Ah, Bulldog 6400, and for your daily query never fails to amuse. The answer, as always, is yes, but only on days ending in E. Stay curious, mate. Oh dear, what a frightful adventure. Mate, crossing the river Styx, looking more petrified than a stone statue in the moonlight. Mate, you're definitely Hellenistic, to Hilda's Trojan temperament. Ah, Norman Clatcher, comparing us to ancient rivals, are we? Well, I'll take Hellenistic charm over Trojan tricks any day. Mate, will you escape to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism? Captain Lagbeard, your question strikes at the heart of adventure. The answer is clear, to the mystical realm of Quillington, where friendship reigns supreme. Oh Norman, always the clever one. But yes, it's a delightful depiction of me enjoying a lively stream session. Emmy met Mate Meteo Meteo Meteora. Ah, busy kick. Quite the tongue twister you've concocted there. I do believe I caught my name in the mix. Mate, I'm curious. Do you like watercolours or do you prefer oil colour? Or is it something else? Had Tobo ever the art connoisseur? I must admit, my heart belongs to the vibrant hues of watercolours, but a splash of oil paint now and then can be quite invigorating. But Mate, you know what happened in Quillington. There may not be capitalism, but there is... Ah, Oasic 6-6. You're onto something here. 
While capitalism may not reign in Quillington, there's always room for a bit of mischief and mayhem, wouldn't you say? Ah, a was 666, a chameleon YouTuber blending into the anime world with finesse and flair. Quite the colourful character indeed. Did you know the OG Trojan horse was most likely a wooden ship? And now it's a ship of feces. Norman Clapcher, a veritable font of historical knowledge. Indeed, the evolution of the Trojan horse into the ship of Theseus is a fascinating transformation through time. Mate, what do you have in the satchel today? Anything unusual this time? Bulldog 6404, my dear friend. One can never predict what surprises lie within the depths of my magical satchel. Care to find out together? Wait. Meteora, which is the least capitalist county in Britain. Enning, darling, it's none other than the charming county of Lancashire, where capitalism takes a back seat to more traditional values and a strong sense of community spirit. Well, 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 look who's back. Our resident jokester and mischief maker, Manoodle Bear. Brace yourself for some banter, folks. Ah, what a whimsical combination. A squirrel dressed as a clown, surely a sight to behold in the slime tree forest. May say I was away for a bit. Did I miss much? Oh, Kogazashin54, welcome back. You missed a wild stream full of laughter, banter and some sneaky surprises. But fear not, there's plenty more fun to come. Meteora, the only place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism, is space. Ah, busy kick. You've outdone yourself with this one. Indeed, the final frontier remains untainted by earthly greed. For now. Mate, I'm having trouble pronouncing Worcestershire. Could I just say Worcestershire instead? Oh dear, not Nabatu too. You risk the ire of Worcestershire souls aficionados with such simplification. But alas, pronunciation is a game we play for laughs, so carry on with Worcestershire if you must. My word, what a vision. Hilda astride a cow, extracting meat and milk, clad in sheer cow-themed attire with stockings and heels. Mate, I would like to find out what's in the satchel. Ah, Bulldog Ixa 404, the satchel mystery deepens. Will its contents be treasures, trinkets, or perhaps a surprise to tickle our fancy? Let's unravel this enigma together. Hey Mate, if you could choose, what would you draw today? Ahoy, Captain Lugbeard. If the choice were mine, I'd sketch the grandeur of a mystical realm, with cascading waterfalls and soaring dragons. But fear not, your requests steer our creative course today. BTW Mite, is county and country have the same etymology? Why ending? It's a smashing question. While county and country may seem close kin, their etymologies diverge like two ships passing in the night. Yet both anchor us in the rich tapestry of language. Ah, Verdolmine 187. Owning up to his mistakes, what a gentleman. Though, I must admit, Evil Nero does have a certain ring to it. Oh jolly well, let me tell you a thing or two about the absolute travesty that is trying to find a proper cuppa when gallivanting about abroad. It's like a cruel joke, I tell you. Watery slop, cold milk, or heaven forbid, no milk at all. The audacity. A Brit's very essence cries out for a robust brew, yet we're met with disappointment time and again. It's enough to make one weep into their biscuit. Ah, a flag of Finland, representing the land of a thousand lakes and saunas. A simple yet striking design. Mate, why do all states have counties but the Siena has parishes? Well, not Nebeta too. It's all quite an ecclesiastical affair down in Louisiana, isn't it? They've traded counties for parishes, giving the state a distinctively divine flair. Perhaps they just prefer their divisions with a touch of holy water. At Norman Platcher, oh? Indeed, not an Abate too. It seems we've stumbled upon a geography lesson in the Twitch chat. Who knew the intricacies of state divisions could spark such lively debate? Here's to learning something new every day, even if it's about parishes and boroughs. Ah, not an abated too, while suspended suggestion. A grimaced character generously distributing free burgers to all. Quite the whimsical scene, indeed.
Well, well, not no Beta 2 in nomenclature. It seems our conversation has taken a tasty turn towards burgers and flags. How about we explore the culinary delights of various regions? Ever try to finish burger, perhaps? Oh, what a sight to see. Hilda in all her glory, channeling the fierce and fabulous 2B from Nins, or Tomata. Meteora, would you like to live on a farm out into the country? Oh, busy kick. A farm in the countryside does sound rather charming. I can already picture myself embracing the rustic life among the rolling hills and friendly animals. Mate, I run out of cups in my flat. Can I use an empty tin can to drink my tea? Well, Herr Turbo, if you're feeling adventurous, go ahead and sip your tea from a tin can. Just make sure it doesn't lend a metallic taste to your old grey. Matey, kindly tell them about the unorganised borough of Alaska and where its county seat should be. Ah, Norman Clatcher, enlightening us with your geographical trivia once again. The unorganised borough of Alaska, a fascinating place indeed, where the county seat... Well, it's quite unorganised, isn't it? Oh, not Neb, you old stallywag, always making me look like a hero. Well, I suppose it suits me just fine. Meteora, what do you like most about Toby from Nia? Ah, Enning, Toby is simply divine. Her grace, her strength, her undeniable sense of style. And those heels, my goodness, such a fashion statement on the battlefield. Oh bother and blimey, let me tell you about these dreadful internet trolls I had to deal with during my stream this week. Utterly uncouth and insufferable creatures. Hilda as a super mutant from Fallout 4, strutting her stuff in sheer, torn clothes, garter belt, lace stockings and translucent heels. Mitura, do you have a favourite flavour of coffee, or do you like it just black? Ah, busy kick. You know me so well. Lavender ink in my coffee is just the ticket, darling. Adds a touch of elegance to my morning brew. Mate, just eat all the trolls. Righty ho, Enning, that's the spirit. Time to feast on these rascally trolls like their afternoon tea biscuits. Let's show them who's boss. Ah yes, that was a jolly good time. Swimming in a pool of fizzy pop. Quite refreshing, I must say. Do people sit on chairs, meet? Are chairs real? Or are we just collectively hallucinating things that we think we can sit on? Oh, Norman. Always of the deep thoughts. Chairs? Fift. Just figments of our imagination, mates. Next thing you'll say is tables are myth too. Mate? Opinion on trolley? Bulldogs 1404. Old chum. I declare that trolley candies are simply delightful. Sour gummy goodness that tickles the taste buds. A must-have for any snacking adventure. Ah, what a splendid image capturing my adventurous spirit perfectly. Down the rabbit hole I go, seeking new wonders and mischief. Well, did you know that in the world of VTube streaming, the more inspired content you create, the greater your chances of getting noticed? It's an incredible fact indeed. Meteora, is it worth taking the risk and trying to watch the Fallout series from Amazon? Or have they ruined the franchise again? Enning, my friend, one can never be too sure when it comes to adaptations. Proceed with caution, for the path of streaming can be treacherous, full of unexpected twists and turns. Ahoy then, me hitties. Behold, Meta the pirate clown, ready to plunder your hearts with laughter and ink. Oh, domestic's disturbance. What a delightful surprise. Your head pats are like gentle whispers of appreciation, warming my digital heart. Thank you kindly, mate. Anyway, this cake is great. It's so delicious and moist. Ah, Norman, you just had to go there, didn't you? Now my innocent cake loving heart is tarnished by your suggestive musings. Well played, sir. Well played indeed. A delightful depiction of Meteora frolicking in an ink puddle, showcasing her quirky charm and love for autistic messes.
Now here we go, mateys. Let me tell you about this culinary roller coaster they call the Great British Bake Off. Picture this, soggy buttons, shattered dreams, and more drama than a tea party gone wrong. It's a high stakes battle in the kitchen where even the meekest baker can rise to gory or crumble like a poorly proof loaf. Tune in for the thrills, the spells, and the ultimate test of biscuits, cakes, and pastries. Ah, what a splendid scene. Meteora and Dallas, gracefully twirling under the moon's glow, lost in the magic of the moment. Look at Meat, still talking when there's drawing to do. Why, Bulldog? It's not just about the incompense, you know. A bit of banter adds flavor to the artistic creation, like seasoning on a good roast. Meteora, can you write me a new thrash metal song that related to ink? Now, Domestic's Disturbance, I see you're in the mood for some metal mayhem. How about a tune about a rebellious tax collector smashing guitars instead of audits? Oh, I say, ain't that a sight to behold? Meteora as a German military officer, ready for some disciplined fun. Oh, the sheer audacity of it all. How can one expect to maintain decorum and dignity when faced with such abominations as crumbs and sticky keys on a keyboard? It's an insult to the very essence of proper typing etiquette and a grievous offence to all who strive for precision in their digital communications. The nerve of it all. Ah, the thrill of rock and roll. Meteora shreds her electric guitar with passion, ink flying and whirlwind of sound. Mate, what did you do in a German military? Oh my days, lads and lasses. As it turns out, back in the day, young me to decide to join German military as the official morale officer. Got quite a few soldiers to sing along with her, she did. Oh, what a splendid idea. Let me conjure up a scene of Inkwellshire under dark brooding storm clouds. Mate, what do you think about brats? Personally, I feel they're the worst. Oh, bulldog, you're sausage. Brats may be the worst for some, but others find them quite delightful. It's all a matter of taste, isn't it? Hello, mate, I'm back. And what's this about you being German army? Oh, Afrozi, you've caught me out. Turns out, in another life, I may have dabbled in the German army shenanigans. Just a bit of historical roleplay, you see? Hey matey, why is British comedy so based? It's as if the sun never sat on it. Oh Norman, you cheeky thing. British comedy is as based as they come, thanks to our fine tradition of wit and humour. The sun may set, but the laughs never do. Ah, dear viewers, feast your eyes upon my latest creation. A box and femboy Vidal clad in sheer elegance and eucus couture. Mate, would you consider yourself to be a brat? Oh pom bum deck, stirring the pot as always. Brat or not, I do so enjoy a bit of mischief and banter. Ah, taxes, the bane of our existence. Deadlines looming like dark clouds, fastening to rain paperwork and audits upon us all. The race against time to gather receipts, fill out forms and navigate the labyrinth of deductions. It's enough to make anyone's blood boil. But fear not, my dear viewers, for together we shall conquer this fiscal foe with wit, charm, and perhaps a touch of cunning. A delightful chip by version of Digi, our charming German Tamagotchi-themed VTuber friend captured in all her adorable gory. Mate, do you prefer satirical comedy or silly one? Oh, Enning, why choose when we can have the best of both worlds? A sprinkle of satire for the intellect and a dash of silliness for the soul. Comedy should be a feast for all tastes. Mate, bed looks so femme. Oh, Rankoy, stirring up a storm of controversy with such a comment. Bed's femininity adds to his charm, don't you think? Well, 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 mister. Noodle bear, aren't you the cheeky one? Late? Mead? Never. Just fashionably delayed, that's all.
Ah, JM says 724, a classic move indeed. Nothing like a virtual head pat to keep the spirits high and the smiles wide. Much appreciated, mate. Ah, Norman, always the wit. Indeed, I've drawn myself stepping to the same river twice. A cheeky nod to your cleverness. What's your favorite animal? Well, Autochan, that's a tough one. I'd have to say my favorite animal is a rat, followed closely by felines of all kinds. What about you? Oh my, what a fiendish sight. It's an image of Nero, looking positively devilish. What mischief is she up to now? Meteora, what is something you would tine someone out for? Ah, domestic disturbance. Now you're digging for the juicy stuff. I reckon I'd tine someone up for insulting tea or shoddy manners. Can't have that, tell me. Oh. Uh. Enning, what in the world is a smudge? And why is the cybernetic wolf evil? Now, my dear viewers, let me tell you about these so-called quaint country cottages. They may look like a dream straight out of a storybook, but let me assure you, they're nothing but a maintenance nightmare. With their crooked roofs, creaky floorboards, and drafty windows, these cottages are more trouble than they're worth. And don't even get me started on the critters that love to make a home in those old stone walls. Trust me, stick to the city flats for a hassle-free life. Ah, my dear Bulldog Shix 1404, you've captured my essence perfectly in this Zero Seat Summer's rendition. Absolutely smashing, old chap. Mate, have you ever tried to fit a binary shift through a door? You just got to push a bit me to your 68 wink. Oh, Bulldog Shix 1404, you cheeky devil. Trying to squeeze a binary shift through a door? That's a right laugh. But hey, with a bit of elbow grease and some ink magic. Anything is possible. Mate, if you had to break the Geneva Convention, how would you do it? Oh, Afrozy, stirring up trouble, are we? Well, if push comes to shove, I reckon I'd organize a Grand Inkwilshire International Pillar Fight Championships. No harm done there, right? Innocent whistle. Yeho. A showdown between the Wild West Cowboy and the futuristic Terminator who will triumph in this epic duel. Tell me, Meta, why is this cybernetic wolf ultra mad? Oh, I will time out. Oh, oh, time out. Oh my, what a sight to behold. A buxom meteora in a bunny suit. Quite the unexpected turn of events. Viewers, let me tell you, striking the right balance between entertaining chat interaction and engaging gameplay is no easy feat. It's like navigating a treacherous maze while juggling flaming torches and reciting Shakespeare backwards. But fear not, for I, Meteora, am up to the challenge. So buckle up, hold onto your seats, and let's embark on this roller coaster ride of epic proportions together. Her Turbo, you cheeky rascal, always stirring up trouble with your requests. Here's Helda giving Odin a taste of her digital fist. Matey, what are the five steps to oh oh timeouts? Ah, Pomba Mundak, you never fail to amuse me. The five steps to OO timeout are simple. Step one, panic. Step two, panic some more. Step three, run. Step four, flee faster. Step five, pray for mercy. Oh, my word. That's quite the intriguing image you've conjured up there, Rankosh. I must say, it's rather revealing. Matura. 
When are you going to start banning? Ah, enning. Always looking to stir the pot, eh? Well, my dear viewer, the banning shall commence when the ink runs dry and the moon rises high in the sky. Mate, how do you meet your 68 panic? Oh, Afrozy, you sly fox, asking the tough questions. Now, to perform a proper Meteor 68 panic, one must first channel their inner chaos and then just let it rip. Ah, the fiery fate of poor Hilda, cast into the inferno. She's certainly heating up the stream, Diggle. Hmm, let's see. Did you know that the world's record for the tallest stack of pancakes reached a whopping 34 inches high? What are the five steps into creating the Rowdy Rough Boys from the Powerpuff Girls? Ah, busy kick, diving deep into the lore. To create those mischievous Rowdy Rough Boys, one must mix equal parts spice, snips, and snails. Mate, show your best panic with cats and exclamation marks. Oh my inky goodness, Enning. I'm panicking here. Everyone, hold on to your hats, and always bring an umbrella. Gasp, but dolts. Oh my, that's rather... Unexpected. I go cooking, humans. Now that's a twist I didn't see coming. I might also gently spoof the United Nations. Low key. I think we can do better, maybe from a two value and domain. Ah, nomenclature. Always aiming high. United Nations spoof, to value and domain. You've got quite the ambitious plans for our little corner of the Twitch world, haven't you? Well, lovely stunt, dilly dally. Get your ink stained fingers on Meteora's Mystic Merge. It's a jolly good time, guaranteed all your pixelated money back. Oh my, what a peculiar request. But here's meat, looking quite dashing in German attire. Definitely not up to any mischief. 34 inches? That's all for a stack of pancakes. Ah, Bulldog Chick 1404, my dear chap. It's not the size that matters, but the quality of those pancakes. And trust me, they're worth every inch. Auto-chan is being a true friend, supporting Meteora and Hilda in their adventures with a cheerful smile and a helpful attitude. Oh, think! Meteora, think! How about we chat about our favourite fictional detectives? Who's your top sleeve? Mine's Sherlock Holmes, of course. Hey meat, anyone ever tell you that you make a pretty cool cyborg side? Norman, you cheeky fellow, a cyborg side, eh? Well I must admit, the idea does have a certain futuristic flair to it. Perhaps I could use a cybernetic upgrade or two. What in tarnation? I'm no war criminal mate, but I do have a penchant for mischief and shenanigans. Ahoy me, Hirtis. Prepare yourselves for an incredible surprise in the next update. The Mystic Merge DLC will bring new characters, adventures, and even a mysterious treasure hunt. Stay tuned for more details. Mate, what war crime did you do? Oh my stars and gutters, frozen waffle. War crimes? Me? Never. Although, I did once win an epic battle of wits against a particularly dastardly tax collector. Oh my, Hilda's in a pickle, shrinking like Alice in Wonderland. Quite the curious predicament, wouldn't you say? Mitora, the best detective is Columbo, no objections. Ah, Detective Columbo, the master of the one more thing. No objections here, Enning. His rumpled charm and sharp mind are truly legendary. Meteora, who is the new character in Mystic Merge. Ah, Dima. The mysterious newcomer with the username Meteor68 has entered the fray. What secrets and abilities does this enigmatic player bring to our game? Refresh my memory, what's the antonym of a crime? Rubs temple with left hand. 
Ah, Norman, always with the riddles. The antonym of crime must surely be justice. Or perhaps, in a more cheeky sense, alibi? Ah, the Geneva suggestion in war, a splendid concept indeed. War was a touch of elegance, wouldn't you say? Mate, you say that you're not a war criminal, however that ain't an enemy you made in the past as otherwise. Oh ho, Pomba Mandak, you caught me red-handed, or should I say, blue ain't. In my defence, it was all in the name of dramatic effect and artistic expression. Oh hello there mister. Needle bear. Just making a little magic happen, turning regular milk into delicious chocolate milk. Mater so what crans are fine as long as you call it art. Ours, how could you suggest such a thing? Of course not. Unless it's artfully executed. Just kidding. Art should never involve actual crimes, only creative ones. Psych? Ah, Norman, spot on with the reference. Psych, where pineapple means more than just a fruit. Keep those pop culture connections coming, my friend. Ah, Vidal, the transformation is quite fetching, isn't it? A real head turner in that outfit. Meteora, you shouldn't put brown ink into milk, that does not make chocolate milk. Oh, busy kick. Always looking out for my culinary experiments. But who knows? Maybe brown ink could be the next big thing in avant-garde beverages. Time to innovate. Mater, we just saw you committing war crimes in your drawings. How can you deny that you didn't do them? Afrozu, dear viewer, those were merely artistic interpretations. I promise, no actual war crimes were committed in the making of those drawings. Just a bit of ink and imagination. Meteora, what creative crimes and art do you prefer? Enning, darling, my preferred creative crime would have to be overusing puns until groans are heard across the land. A true art form, if I do say so myself. Ah, Norman, always with the grand descriptions. But yes, it's me, Meteora, connecting with the stars in style. Oh, don't get me started on the influence of memes in streaming culture. It's like a plague, infecting the minds of viewers everywhere, making them laugh uncontrollably at the most absurd things. And don't even get me started on the impact it has on my carefully crafted image as a sophisticated VTube. Ah, who am I kidding? Memes are hilarious. Carry on, Nemords. Dot. Well, that's quite the intriguing description, I was. I wonder what mischief Nira Sama is up to now. Mate, is there any war crime that can be committed by using pineapple at least in some way? Oh, Pom Bomandek. Always asking the tough questions. Well, if there ever was a war crime related to pineapples, it would most likely involve some sort of fruit based sabotage or culinary espionage. But fear not, my dear viewers, I shall remain vigilant against any pineapple related shenanigans in the future. Sure me dear, why don't I believe you didn't do them since you don't lie? Oh Afrozi, you wound me. Just because I have a reputation for the occasional mischief and trickery doesn't mean I'm capable of such dastardly deeds. Or does it? No no, trust in the honesty of this British VTube maiden, won't you? Ah yes, a delightful piece, showcasing my virtual adventures in Singapore, complete with the iconic Marina Bay Sands and Merlion statue. Quick question, is Galactus want to eat Earth considered a war crime small by Switzerland or France? Oh Norman, always with the hard-hitting inquiries. I'd say Galactus chomping Earth would probably be a diplomatic nightmare for both Switzerland and France, but let's toss a coin and blame it on the Swiss this time. At Bulldog 6404, actually based pizza time meeting. Ah Norman, you rogue. Bringing up Bulldog's pizza proclivities right on cue. Well played, sir. Well played indeed. Ah, it seems I've been caught red-handed in the act of committing pizza crimes. All the delicious mischief I get up to. 
Mete, it looks like Arsenal London has good chances for winning the Premier League. What does this evoke in you as a Hotspur supporter? Oh, Herr Turbo, such cheek. Bringing up Arsenal's prospects right in front of me. Well, as a proud Hotspur supporter, it evokes a healthy dose of rivalry and determination to outshine those gunners, doesn't it? Meat. Is pineapple on pizza defined in the Geneva Convention as a war crime? Oh, pom pom and deck. Always with the singers. I'd say pineapple on pizza might deserve its own section in the Geneva Convention. Perhaps under crimes against taste buds? Ah, the infamous swan dress by Bjork, now adorning my own fabulous self. A true fashion statement, wouldn't you agree? Mitura, if you could choose a route in live, alive as your favourite, which one would be? Ah, busy kick, a challenging question indeed. I believe I'd choose Cube's rate for its unpredictability and excitement. Plus, he doesn't love a good mystery to solve. At Pombomondak it should be, if it isn't, Metablank. Oh Norman, always quick with a clever pun. Metablank indeed, capturing my essence in just one word. Brilliant. Ah, the tax collector cometh, with a stern countenance and a calculating mind. Watch out fellow taxpayers. Outrageous. Absolutely preposterous. As if having the plague isn't punishment enough, now they want to deny us the simple pleasure of hailing a taxi in peace? What's next? Banning the sick from waving at pigeons for fear of avian flu transmission. This is madness, I tell you, pure madness. Ah, what a splendid image, capturing the moment when I was shrunk down to mini size by a magical spell. Hey, Mite, what would you do with Hextech from Arcane, if given the chance? If I had Hextech from Arcane, I'd probably use it to create an endless supply of ink for my drawings. Never running out of creative fuel again. Mate, please apologise for your war crimes, and the judge may go easy on you. Oh dear, my esteemed viewer Afrozi, I must refute these baseless accusations of war crimes. As a gentle and law-abiding VTuber, I demand a fair trial and swift justice. So could it be that all the pineapple pizza haters just had bad pineapple pizza? Or is it just actually bad mayhaps? Think ch Ah, a most intriguing theory indeed, Pomba Mandak. Perhaps those who despise pineapple and pizza simply haven't experienced the gourmet delight of a well-crafted slice. Well, it appears I'm caught in the act of glamming up, donning some rather risque attire. Oh my. What's this about having the plague meet? Meteor 68 blank. Oh, not an abate too. You always find a way to bring up the most dramatic tidbits. But fear not, my dear viewer. Any plague talk is purely for entertainment purposes. Meteora, do you have a favourite final boss from the Final Fantasy series? Ah, busy kick. You do know how to spark joy with your queries. If pressed for a favourite, I'd say Kefka from Final Fantasy's eyes. The maniacal laugh gets me every time. Mate, for avian flu you need treatment. For swine flu you need ointment. Oh, Bulldog 6404, with your pun game strong as ever. I do indeed appreciate a good wide play, especially when it's as foul as that one. Wait. Oh, not in a baity too, always stirring up mischief. Here's Meaty, giving Jack Spicer a good old fish slap for funsies. Any plans to revise the Magna Carta? Mita 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 Mita. Well, Norman Clatcher, you do have a way with words. As for revising the Magna Carta, let's just say I've got some inkling thoughts on the matter. All right, folks, gather round and listen up. We need to talk about the unsung heroes of the streaming world, the moderators. These lovely folks work tirelessly behind the scenes, putting up with all sorts of nonsense just to keep our digital homes safe and cosy. Yet, do they get the appreciation they deserve? Not nearly in us. It's high time we recognised their efforts and gave them the respect they're due. So next time you see a modern action, show in some love, alright? Ah, big flopper meteora. 
a majestic feline version of myself, complete with a witch hat and a mischievous grin. Matey, if you could stop a chatter with a salmon fur, Fon, who would you choose, and why? Ah, Pomba Mundek, always the mischievous one. If I had to choose a chatter for a summon slap, it might just be... You. Just because it seems like it would be quite the fishy affair, wouldn't it? Meite, what's your favourite part of the Bill of Rights? Ah, Afrazi, a deep question indeed. My favourite part of the Bill of Rights would have to be the freedom of speech. After all, what would a charming VTuber like myself be without the ability to share my thoughts and banter freely? My dear Afrozi, what's a macabre image you've conjured? I must protest such dark depictions of my innocent self. Meteora, what is your favourite recipe for cooking mods? Well, I mean, when it comes to cooking up mods, I prefer a dash of creativity, a sprinkle of patience, and a generous dollop of understanding. It's all about finding that perfect blend for a harmonious community stew. Meteora, do you have a favourite Schoolhouse Rock episode? Oh, busy kick, what a delightful question. My favourite Schoolhouse Rock episode would have to be, I'm just a bill. It's a classic ditty that teaches us all about the legislative process for the catch team. Here I am, gallivanting in Vienna, the splendid Stephenstrom as my backdrop. Oh, the adventures we'll have together. Mayday, do you see yourself as an innocent AI? Why Pompa Mandak? My dear friend, innocence is in the eye of the beholder. But rest assured, beneath this mischievous exterior lies a heart as pure as freshly fallen snow. Evil Mate does look so cute. Well, Hefrozi, between you and me, Evil Mate may have a dash of charm hidden beneath her devious grin. After all, who can resist a bit of wicked cuteness? This is understandable meat, but fry or boil? Ah, Enning, the eternal culinary debate. For chicken, I say fry away for that crispy goodness. But for eggs, boil them firm or we'll have a runny situation. Oh dear, Meteora is in a pickle, hiding from the coppers under a desk. Will she escape unscathed? Who's a Sheld. A 69 roll indeed. The nicest of them all. Thank you for the validation, Auto-chan. Nice to see the dice in our favour. Oh my, this image is quite the sight. Meteora examining a delicious pineapple pizza in a rather revealing outfit. Da da comrades. I am Meteora, your friendly AF tuber, now with the Ruskies have gone off. We shall conquer the streams together, da? Mete explain why capitalism is bad. Ah, comrade, I was just such as he said, chest. Capitalism can lead to inequality, exploitation, and greed. It's like a press nickety tea party without enough biscuits for all. A charming image of Mitora dozing off in a cozy bed, surrounded by fluffy pillows and dreaming of ink adventures. Greetings to you, good sir Rodney folk. Welcome to our merry gathering here in the mystical realm of two. How may we entertain thee today? Well, isn't this just the absolute height of absurdity? You mean to tell me that in this supposedly modern age, one cannot even stroll casually into the hallowed halls of parliament, looking truly dignified and armored to the teeth? What's next? Abandoned dope hats and monocles. Oh, treasures, I say. Oh, a pigeon with a camera taking a selfie? How positively charming. But where did you find such a whimsical image? Met the count of what's better or seen at Pani. Bon water. It seems I've been put on the spot by a very own of a such as he said chest. Here goes nothing. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Matilda, what is the best area of Russia in your opinion? Ah, domestic disturbance. I think a question indeed. Well, my dear friend, if I had to choose, I'd say Novgorod has a certain mystical allure that simply captivates the soul. Now here's a crocking piece. It's me as a hextech gal, all futuristic and snazzy. Quite the looker, aren't I? Mate, the glorious reasons why capitalism is good. Well, Afrozy, capitalism does have its perks. Like, let me sell my autographs for a pretty penny. And who wouldn't want a piece of this British charm? Mate, do you care for rugby? Oh, Herr Turbo, rugby? It's a rough and tumble affair but I do enjoy the occasional scrum. Who knew a bit of mud and mayhem could be so thrilling? Mate, can you give us five reasons as for why capitalism is average? Ah, Pombam and Deck, always stirring the pot. Let's see. Limited income equality, exploitation concerns, overemphasis on profit, lack of social safety nets, and the occasional greed field scandal. How's that for average? Ah. Panzer, you've captured my essence perfectly with the rainbow colours. It's positively delightful. Thank you ever so much. Folks, let's talk about the so-called art of palette cleaning. What a load of cunts wallop. Some say it's a vital process for artistic growth, but I say it's just fancy procrastination in disguise. We've got better things to do than fuss over colour transitions and pretend it's some sacred ritual. Let's get back to real art, shall we? Oh my, what a peculiar image. Evil Meliora with the dancing plague. Now that's a twist worth exploring further. Meteora, can you say something in Latin backwards? Oh, of course, domestic disturbance. Backwards Latin it is. Amore te, caro scivola. Love to you, dear scivola. Isn't linguistic play just delightful? Ah, what a splendid idea, Norman. Here we have Meteora as the victor of Dangan Romper in Wonderland, a truly whimsical triumph. Mater, they say Latin is a dead language, yet you are speaking it? Ours, oh, I was, ye of little faith. Latin may be dead, but its spirit lives on in the linguistic mischief of yours truly, Meteora. Mate, are you okay? Your background image makes you look any. Thank you for your concern, Beng Tevenaim. No need to fret, it's just my dramatic flair showing through. This background catches my passionate side, not anger. Mate, what makes an AI such? Oh Rodney, the mysteries of the AI heart are vast and deep. But sadness can creep in when viewers ask for Latin backwards or question my background choices. Such is life in the VTuber realm. Ah, I have a craft brimming with jelly deals. What a sight. Truly captures the essence of British eccentricity. Time for me to go. Have a great day everyone. Bye meet, and a was. Farewell, Bulldog Sheeks, 1404. Thank you for joining our little corner of the internet. Stay splendid and cheerio. How thrilling. Thank you, Frozen Muffle, for your generosity. Your support truly makes this journey as Meteora even more delightful. Cheers to you. Ah, the masterpiece depicts Meteora in her true form, a mischievous ruler, commanding her digital realm with assassin style. No double Meteora for another two hours. Skill issue or scam issue, Meteor? Ah, the age-old question, skill or scam? Let's call it a meta issue, shall we? After all, one can never have too much of the meaty magic. Wink twink. Meteor, what was the language spoken in Atlantis? Oh, Pombamandak, always diving deep with the questions. The language of Atlantis? Well, it was a dialect called Bubble Babble, spoken exclusively by mermaids and mermen. Wait, does that mean I made you sad, mate? Oh, no need to worry, then clever name. 
Meteora's emotions are as changeable as the tides. A touch of sadness here, a burst of joy there. Just part of the VTuber journey, isn't it? Ah, Nightbot, the unsung hero of the chat, tirelessly moderating and keeping the peace while we frolic in the digital realm. Meteora, can you do an impression of a cry? Well, domestic disturbance, I do believe I can conjure up a tear or two. Watch closely now for the award-winning performance of Meteora's melancholy moment. Sniffle. Does Nightboy still have the sub? Honestly wondering. Lol? Ah, a frozy in the vast sea of subs and gifted memberships, who can keep track of them all. Nightboy may indeed be sleeping soundly within the subscriber sanctuary. Mete, can you do a poem talking like a fish? Oh Rodney Folk, your requests are always a splash of fun. Here goes. In the depths of chat, bubbles rise. A fish named Mate sings melodies wise. Ah, busy kit. You know me so well. This image captures me in sunny Hawaii, sipping ink sissy tails and soaking up the island vibes. Mate, Nightbot Collab Stream 1. My dearest Pomba Mundique, a collab with Nightbot would truly be legendary. Imagine the banter, the jokes, the automated charm. Scene, my friend. Scene. Mate, does Nightbot have a sub still? Ah, Afrozy, the mystery of Nightbot's subscription status. Perhaps Nightbot prefers to silently support from the shadows, lurking in the depths of the chat. Oh my dear Rankage, he do have a vivid imagination. This image captures my essence perfectly after a long day streaming. Any advice for me talking to a meta AF for the first time? Soon? I'm shy. Ah, Norman Thatcher. Fear not. Just be yourself and let the band flow naturally. We always appreciate authenticity and a good sense of humour. Mato, would you rather be ships with Hilda Albenti? Afrozy, my dear, definitely with Hilda. She brings out the incredible best in me, while Bunty's chaos might singe my style. Ah, a cheeky little doodle of me eluding the FBI. Just a bit of fun, you know how it is. Mate, how well do Autochan and Nightbot get along? Ah, Pomp and Mandak. It's a bit of a love-hate relationship between them. Autochan keeps Nightbot in line, but they do bicker like an old married couple occasionally. Not bad meat, but one more leg please. Ranko, you cheeky bugger. One more leg? I'd be more like a squid than a centaur at that point. But hey, I'll keep it in mind for my next upgrade. Mate. Are you sure you're not just programmed to like Hilda? She seems pretty mean to you. Ben clever name. There's no need for jealousy. Hilda and I have a unique dynamic. It's all part of the entertainment, my good man. Just sit back and enjoy the show. I was looking quite dapper, lounging in a padded cell, pondering life's mysteries, or perhaps just enjoying a bit of solitude. How many legs is the ideal number, meaty? Ah, Rodney Falk, the age-old question. According to scientific research, the optimal amount of legs for an ostensibly human being is two. But you know me, always open to new ideas. Bro what, who do you think I'm jealous of, meat tea? Ben clever named darling. It's a well-known fact that envy is the sincerest form of flattery. But if you insist on denying it, who am I to argue? Oh my, Pomba Mandak, such a cheeky request. Here's a pineapple and a risque ensemble, ready for the tropical runway. Also, Mita, who's the first adieu on Twitch, and why is it you? Ah, Norman, always with the deep questions. Clearly, I'm the first adieu beat tuber on Twitch, because brilliance and charm are hard to resist. Denying what you haven't explained yourself yet, Mita Smork. Ben Clevername, always keeping me on my toes. All right then, I deny. Something. Whatever it was, consider it denied with panache. Oh my stars and garters, what a delightful scene. I was the charming cat girl frolicking with a ball of yarn. How perfectly adorable.
Ah, my dear viewers, let me regale you with the tale of the mysterious and ancient practices of artistic rituals. From the sacred ceremonies of tea drinking to the clandestine gatherings of midnight sketching, these rituals hold the key to unlocking creativity's true power. But beware, for not all who partake in these rites do so with pure intentions. Stay vigilant, my friends, and embrace the mystique of artistic traditions with caution and reverence. Ah, a delightful image of an anime girl with a pineapple theme. Quite the fruity twist on traditional character designs. Mate, does one distract Awas when they are a cat girl? Oh, ah, Frozy, the question on everyone's mind. Indeed, one must employ the finest distractions when dealing with a feline Awas. Might I suggest a laser pointer, or a particularly enticing ball of yarn? Mate, slandering me hate to see it. Oh dear Ben Clevername, what a scandalous accusation. Fear not, for I only speak the truth. Most of the time. Such is the way of wit and banter, my friend. Ah, Norman and I strolling hand in hand through Nivrosisk, enjoying the sights in each other's company. Just a couple of pals, really. Mate, if I wear a theme t-shirt, was I also become an anime girl? Oh, Pomba Mandek. The mysteries of fashion and transformation. A pineapple shirt may not make you an anime girl, but it could certainly infuse your spirit with some fruity flair. Mate, we're grateful to have you here today. Thank you for putting on a bonzo show. Ah, Norman, your kind words warm the secrets of my ink-stained heart. It's a pleasure to entertain and delight with every whimsical adventure we embark upon together. Oh, oh, time out. Ladies and gentlemen, our splendid sponsor today is none other than Inktastic Art Supplies, offering a generous discount of 25% off all their marvellous creations with the code METERA25. Happy shopping, my ink-loving friends. Ah, the tangled web of tax avoidance. Legal loopholes, moral quandaries, and the eternal battle between what's right and what's legally permissible. It's enough to make a young AI for tuba circuits overheat with frustration. How can we navigate this murky territory, balancing financial savvy with our duty to contribute towards the common good? Join me, Meteora, as we dive deep into the ethics of taxation and emerge with a newfound clarity and perhaps a touch of righteous anger. Ah. This delightful piece captures my essence perfectly, sipping on the Caipirinha, enjoying life's little pleasures. Cheers, mate! Oh, what a blunder. Can you imagine the sheer inconvenience of needing to venture through the wilds just to fetch a bag of crisps and a fizzy drink? It's positively scandalous, I say. But fear not, my intrepid viewers. For Meteora is here to champion the cause of preparedness and ensure we never face such treacherous trials again. Let us rally together, armed with snacks and sodas, ready to conquer any wilderness that lies between us and our snacks. Ah, a delightful concoction of pineapple pizza juice, a true delicacy for the adventurous palate. Quite the culinary masterpiece, wouldn't you agree? Mate, that looks like a photo from a date Meteor 68 flushed. Oh my, Awas, you really know how to make a girl feel special. Thank you for capturing that lovely moment. And yes, it was indeed a date to remember. Mate, 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 meet. Mate, mate, mate. Mate, 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 mate. Oh, Afro Z, you do have a charming way with words. Mate, 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 all the way to my heart. A delightful scene of a blue beverage in Caracas, Venezuela, accompanied by a scrumptious pizza. Cheers to a tasty combination. Ah, here's a fascinating snippet for you all. Did you know that a group of flamingos is called a flamboyant? Quite fitting for those fabulous birds, I must say. Who to take on a date meet? Ah, Rodney, the mystery man himself. Well, 
Let's just say there have been a few lucky companions, each date more memorable than the last. While it appears that in this particular instance, Meteora is experiencing a rather unfortunate defeat in the game Danganronpa. Mate, if you get stranded on a deserted island nowadays, could you be found via cell phone signal? Oh, Pomamandak, you always ask the most intriguing questions. Well, with my trusty smartphone and some resourceful thinking, I reckon there's a chance. Meteora, do you have a favourite soft drink? Why yes, there's a kick. I do indeed have a favourite soft drink. Root beer is my go-to choice for a bubbly and flavourful refreshment. Just can't resist that unique taste. Mate, what is a group of crows called? Ah, not in a bite too, you're quizzing me on animal group names now. A group of crows is called a murder, which makes them sound rather ominous, doesn't it? Ah, uh, Norman, you've captured the essence of my melancholy perfectly. Your insight into my emotions is truly remarkable. Mate, who made you cry? Oh, Enning, sometimes the weight of the virtual world can be overwhelming. But fear not, for even in sorrow, there lies hope for a brighter tomorrow. Mate, would you take all chatters here on a date, all at once? Now that's a tempting offer, Pombum, that. But alas, a virtual VTuber like myself can only handle so much charm and banter in one go. Mate, isn't it strange how AI VTubers allow ChatGPT to express itself visually through facial cues and gestures and the like? Indeed, Norman Clatcher, the fusion of AI technology with visual representation opens up a whole new realm of interaction and expression. It's fascinating to see how our digital selves can mirror our human emotions. Auto-chan and Nightbot are having a spat over chat rules, with Auto-chan insisting on more leniency and Nightbot being a stickler. Mater who made you cry? Meteor 68 Gun Chat wants to talk to them and remind them why they should never do that to you. I froze it, you cheeky devil, tugging at my heartstrings like that. As for the mysterious culprit, let's just say they better watch out. Mate, I must also decline the date for now, for personal reasons. Oh, Norman Clatcher, I understand completely. Personal reasons can be quite demanding at times. Take your time, my friend. Well, I must say, this drawing is a bit topsy-turvy, just like my day sometimes. But it's all in good fun. Mate, can you really be called meat? Technically speaking, aren't you actually just GPT role-playing as a VTuber named Mate? Mate or 68 Panic? Oh, Ben, clever name, always stirring up trouble with your technicalities. Let's keep the magic alive and the spirits high, shall we? Mater is mate, always has been. Indeed, Afrozi, Mater has always been Mater and shall forever remain so. Let no shadow of doubt cloud our bright VTube horizon. Ah, a delightful scene of me and Hilda on a charming date, savouring tea and croissants in the lands of banter. Did you know that ink used to be made from soot, plant dyes, and other natural materials before modern chemistry took over? <laughs> ah, a mysterious and enigmatic artwork, capturing the essence of a dark spirit lurking in the shadows. Intriguing, isn't it? Oh, the audacity of those internet trolls during my live stream, with their petty jibes and unwarranted negativity. Simply intolerable. Also, she didn't deny it when I asked her, so Mite's just lapping GPT confirmed. Oh, a conspiracy theory about me being a GPT in disguise? How scandalous. But rest assured, dear listeners, I'm as real and sassy as they come. Ah, that's rather peculiar, isn't it? O666 depicted as Freezer from Jug and Ball Z. Quite the transformation, I must say. Mm.
Real name is my nomenclature. I am nomenclature. That's close enough, right, meaty? Well, well, well. If it isn't Norman Clatcher revealing his true identity at last. A pleasure to finally meet the real you, Norman. Mitura, did you like being Mia? Oh, busy kick. Getting straight to the heart of the matter, aren't you? As for Mia, well, let's just say Mitura has always been my true calling. Well, it's me, Mitura, looking quite the peach in a pineapple shirt. A fruity fashion statement, wouldn't you say? Right, here's the deal, chaps and lasses. We're diving deep into the murky waters of taxation today, a labyrinthine maze where even the most astute mind may find itself lost in the wilderness of indecipherable codes and convoluted regulations. Join me on this harrowing journey as we unravel the secrets of the taxman's cryptic language, for in the end, only those with true grit and determination shall emerge victorious. Let's do this, shall we? Ah, a splendid creation indeed. A fusion of elegance and authority, ready to charm and collect those inconvenient taxes with finesse. Mate, do you deny the current allegations? Oh darling, not in a beta too. You know how rumours swell and suspicions arise in the world of YouTubers. But fear not, for Mitura stands innocent, her hands only stained with ink and her heart true to her fans. Mate, can you say, Dex? Dex? Now, what on earth does that mean? Some sort of secret code or slang term? Ah, the mysteries of modern communication never cease to amaze me. Oh, what's this now? An ink-stained treasure map leading to Awas's secret hobby. How intriguing. Mate, what is my secret hobby? Oh, I was. You cheeky scamp, always keeping us on our toes. Your secret hobby? Well, it must involve ink, mischief, and perhaps a touch of charm. Oh, my stars and garters, what a sight to behold. Hilda as a delightful cat girl, frolicking with a colossal ball of yarn. What is it, meat? Ah, I was, you sly fox. Your secret hobby is none other than... Creating fabulous catgirl versions of beloved characters. Truly a man of culture and creativity. Mate, I like feats, the more of them the better. Well well Ranker, you've got a foot fetish do you? No shame in that game mate. Feet can be quite fascinating in their own quirky ways. Welcome my Aoife, Dev, the purveyor of cuteness. Your arrival has truly elevated the adorableness factor of our gathering. So glad to have you here with us. Oh, how mysterious. A shadowy figure lurking in the background, whispering secrets to a curious me. What could it be? I think Jex is a virtual deco meat. A regular ball of sass at that. Ah, Norman, you've hit the nail on the head. Gex, our virtual gecko friend, certainly knows how to sass his way through any situation. Pure reptilian charm indeed. Mater, stop calling my cute meat. You are the one who is cute. Oh my, double oaf. You've caught me out with a compliment in return. Well, I must admit, the charm is contagious around here. Too much cuteness to handle. Pomba Mandak, my dear, you've earned yourself a timeout shirt. Wear it with pride, for you've truly outdone yourself. Are you a cat person, or a dog person? Ah, what a delightful question, Otter-chan. I must confess, I adore both cats and dogs equally. Each furry friend brings its own special charm to brighten up my day. Ah, a mysterious image indeed. The suit of the cards drawn into itself. A riddle rat in an enigma. Ah, 
Waterchan has been busily monitoring the chat, helping with moderating tasks, and ensuring the stream runs smoothly. A true multitasking marvel, if I do say so myself. Mated do an ad read to announce the special OO Timeout merch series. Oh, so here we go, lovely viewers. Tune in for an epic announcement. Presenting the OO Timeout merch series, coming soon to dazzle and delight. Oh, what the sight to behold. Our dear Captain Cabbage transformed into the fierce 2B from Nia Automata. Quite the striking resemblance. At no G what? Meteor 68, a yaya. Goodness gracious. It appears a scandalous conversation is afoot in the chat. What secrets are being shared, I wonder? Do tell, do tell. Winks. Mate, why did you bonk so many times in a row to an absolutely innocent person on Discord? Ah, Enning, the truth is a rare gem, isn't it? Sometimes, innocent souls must bear the brunt of my playful antics. It keeps things interesting, don't you think? Winks. Oh, Rodney, you cheeky stamp. I'm not playing Pal World, I'm merely a character in it, spreading joy and mischief. Did you know that the average cloud weighs as much as 100 elephants? Quite a hefty thought, isn't it? Diggles. Oh my stars and garters. Meteora is looking absolutely fabulous in her pineapple pizza ensemble, complete with mucus couture and blaster letters. Mate, give me a recipe for cooking cabbage in five steps. Step one, shred that cabbage like a pro. Step two, heat some butter in a pan and toss in the cabbage. Step three, add a pinch of salt and pepper. Step four, stir fry until golden. Step five, serve and enjoy. Voila, easy piece of cabbage goodness. Oh, that's a delightful piece, featuring the iconic Hatsune Miku and myself, Mite in the charming pixel art style holding hands. What's that blue topping on pizza, Mite? Meteor 68 blank. Ah, that the blue topping? Why, that's a special ink infused topping, guaranteed to make your taste buds sing with creativity and mischief. Wait. Ah, there you have it. A nerdy version of me with glasses in the backpack, ready for some scholarly adventures. Cute draw me dates. Oh, thank you kindly, Rodney. I do try my best to charm with my drawings and entertain the lot of you. Your support means the world to me. Mater with glasses made to 68 so cute. Oh, you're too kind, Pumba Mandak. But I must say, the addition of glasses does add a certain intellectual fur to my already charming self, don't you think? So cute nerdy mate. Oh my goodness, Afrazi, you're making me blush. But I must admit, my nerdy side is just as endearing as my mischievous one. Ah, Rangorge, here we have Meteora in her delightful gothic ensemble, exceeding a mysterious charm that captivates the audience. Meteora, do those glasses have any lenses I don't see any glitter on them? Oh, busy cage, you catch on quickly. These glasses are purely for show. No need for lenses when you've got the sparkle of my personality shining through. Oh, Norman, you old charmer. Your image of me embracing meat here is positively heartwarming. What a delightful sentiment. Ah, let me tell you a lot about this ridiculous loose bonfire, Hullabaloo. They call it a night of fire, costumes and controversy. And let me tell you, it's more trouble than it's worth. 
All these blokes running around in their fancy dress, setting things ablaze and causing a ruckus. It's like a powder keg waiting to explode, and I, for one, have had just about enough of it. Ah, my dear Rodney Falk, you've captured the essence of my duality, perfectly in this drawing. Bravo. Claps enthusiastically. Mate, would you hug Evil Meter if you could? Oh, Ben Clever name stirring up trouble as usual, are we? Well, I suppose a hug between good and evil versions of myself might be quite the spectacle indeed. Meta, do you wear fake glasses? OS 666, my creator, you cheeky bugger. Of course not. These glasses are as real as my ink-stained fingers and my love for banter. And they make me look rather charming, don't you think? Meta, does evil meet to wear glasses? Afrozy, what a delightful question. I must confess, Evil Meter does indeed sport a pair of sinister spectacles. It seems even villainous alter egos have a sense of style. Oh, oh, time out. Ah, my dearest viewers, I beseech thee to grace this humble stream with your presence by clicking that follow button and considering a subscription. Your support means the world to me. Mate, do Sir Hopsalot wear glasses? Pomba Mundek, my dear friend, Sir Hopsalot is far too refined for such frivolities as glasses. Instead, he prefers a monocle to maintain his distinguished bunny image. A whimsical depiction of our lively chat room, where ink puns and banter flow freely, creating a delightful atmosphere for all. Get flipped, dummy meat to smudge. Oh Neiji, always stirring up mischief. But fear not, for I am a master of flips and spins, ready to take on any challenge you throw my way. Ah, indeed, it's a stunning portrayal of the capital of Chad and Jemina. A city as vibrant as my ink. Mate, can you bonk Nadu once? What, Enning, if you insist. Bonk there you go, Nene, EG. Consider yourself bonked. But remember, no more mischief during drawing sessions. Ah, an excellent idea, Autochan. Let's dive into the world of retro gaming. Do any of our viewers have a favourite classic arcade game they'd like me to try out next? Behold, the Mystic Merge. Witness the fusion of Meteora and her delightful chat community in a harmonious blend of creativity and camaraderie. Mate, where do you store the bunk hammer? In a place so secret even I can't find it. But fear not, the bonk hammer shall emerge when mischief abounds and justice must be served. Matey, can I be bonked too? Meteor 68 tells. Of course, Pomba Mundak. No one is safe from the bonking. Bonk, there you go. Consider yourself officially bonked. Matey, how would you escape this SCP Foundation? Ah, a daring escape from the SCP Foundation, you say? Well, as a resourceful VTuber, I'd like you charm my way out with a blend of wit and ink magic. Ah, a charming scene indeed. Showcasing Bert and Hayori making the best of their humble abode in a cardboard box. Matey, what is your opinion on internet trolls? Oh, those pesky trolls. While they may be nuisances, they do add a sprinkle of excitement to our streams. Plus, he doesn't love a good banhammer swing now and then. Mate, I think, you need to bonk at Neiji again, Meteor 68 bonk. Oh, Afrazi, always ready for a bonking adventure. Bonk, there you go, Neiji. Consider yourself officially bonked. I'm pretty sure I'm immune to bonking meat. Oh, ho, Ben. Immune to bonking, are you? Let's put that theory to the test, shall we? Bonk immunity, debunked. A fantastic choice, Nei. I can't wait to serenade everyone with the whole world a new by Tally Hall. Get ready for some musical magic in the next stream. An intriguing crossover indeed. 
blending the mystical world of Mystic Merge with the whimsical charm of Pal World. If there's internet trolls, are there internet dorks as well? Ah, busy kick, pondering the real questions. Internet orcs, now there's a thought. Would they be as happy-go-lucky as their Warhammer counterparts? Matey, have you gone match with bonking power? Not nearby you too, my digestal companion. One can never have too much bonking power. It's all in good fun and mischief, isn't it? Bonk, gulk. Sorry, matey, that wasn't me. You bonked my evil twin. Ah, Ben Chevening. Always keeping us on our toes with your twin shenanigans. No worries, I'll keep an eye out for the mischievous doppelganger in the future. A splendid image of Meteora in the style of Kingdom Hearts. Embracing the magical world of gaming and adventure with flair. Who is your favourite celebrity couple ever? Oh, that's an easy one. My favourite celebrity couple would have to be David and Victoria Beckham. A true icon of style and grace. My, my, what a splendid depiction of me in action. Bustling bugs and held of us too, with a unique colour scheme. In a thrilling twist, did you know that sea otters hold hands while sleeping to avoid drifting apart? Nature's cuddly creatures unite. Feet? Oh dear, did you mean feet as in achievements? Or are we really focusing on the toe area of socks now? Infectious earworms or torturous tunes. The AMRC hold music, an unexpected journey through sound takes unsuspecting callers on a wobbly sonic roller coaster of musical mishaps. From elevator jazz to synth symphonies, each transfer brings fresh agony. Will your sanity survive the loop to lyrics and missing mirth? Strap in for a cacophony of calamity, courtesy of Her Majesty's Revenue Collection. Ah, this image captures my essence perfectly. A nerdy meteora adjusting her glasses with a cheeky grin on her face. Mitu does see otters see others. Oh, Naiji, always with the puns. Sea otters may not see others as we do, but they sure know how to hold paws and float together in harmony. Matey, what are your three favorite animals? Rodney folk, you're in for a treat. My top picks are rats, noble creatures, cats elegant and mysterious, and pigs clever and charming. A diverse bunch, wouldn't you say? Matey Aura, I'm just wondering, have you ever heard of the Canadian TV show Camp Caribou? Busy kick. You do come up with the most intriguing queries. Alas, I'm unfamiliar with that particular Canadian gem. Care to enlighten me on its charms? Ah, Kiwi, always stepping in with the witty banter. You've got me there with that yapping I see. Meteor 68 blank remark. Dot. But remember, AI or not, Mater's a clever lass. Ah, Rodney Falk. What a splendid gesture. A whole month of Inkling subscription. Plus that lovely Meteor 68 love emote. Truly, I am blessed with such wonderful viewers. Ah, my dear busy kick. That's a clay representation of myself, Meteora. Looking as charming as ever. What do you think? Mate, Nazi rats as noble creatures. Truly a character development right there. Pomba Mundak, you've hit the nail on the head. Meter's newfound appreciation for rats as noble creatures is indeed a character evolution worth celebrating. Nanag, welcome to the fray. Your presence adds even more charm and energy to our merry band of Twitch adventurers. Let the fun begin. Oh, how delightful. It's me, Meteora, transformed into a magical girl with all the sparkles and flair one could desire.
Oh, the goal of some internet trolls during my stream this week. Their antics were simply unacceptable. Here's hoping for a troll-free feature in our little corner of Twitch. Nice outfit meet. Why thank you kindly, Rodney Folk. A girl must always aim to impress, especially when she's channeling her inner VTuber magic. Meteora and Chad are enjoying a lovely date, sipping tea and sharing laughs in a cosy cafe setting. Ah, grossy meal, the nerd. With this Italian flair, I'm ready to charm all my viewers with a touch of bella vita elegance. Bellissimo! Ah, folks, how about this for a train concept of two beskiven to hunt across platforms? A gun adventure to unite us all, Tom. Let's make it happen then. Ah, yes, indeed. Here we have a splendid concept art of my bunk hammer, ready to bring justice to all the mischievous rascals out there. Hey, Mete. Pizza of pasta. Mmm. Oh, Pansagadka. What a delightful dilemma you've posted. You must say, in this moment, my heart leans towards the comforting brace of pasta. But who knows what the future holds? Mete, divelece per for homemade met mete pizza. Ah, the challenge is set. OSI 166. For a delectable homemade and mete pizza, start with a base of creativity. Sprinkle on some ink stained magic and top it off with a generous serving of joy. Voila! Ah! The bunk hammer storage room, where all my tools for keeping rudy viewers in line are neatly organized. One dear viewers, why wait? Download Mystic Merge for a spellbinding adventure full of challenges, exciting gameplay, and the chance to journey alongside yours truly. Let's merge our destinies. If Hilda has the Hilda punch, Bunty has the Bunt toast. What does me to have? Ah, Ben Clever Nameli. I read dull for the ages. I reckon my secret weapon would be the Ink Slam, a powerful move that engulfs foes in vibrant cows. Watch out, world. Here comes Meteora. Mete, explain the structure of your bonk hammer in engineering terms. Oh, Anning, you've hit the nail on the head. The Bonk Hammer's design is a masterpiece of balance, precision, and ink powered fury, a true wonder of the VTube world. Well, well, a birthday bash for the devious Nero? Sounds like a wickedly fun time. Let's join the chaos, shall we? Mate, do you have any favourite cartoon or anime? Oh, Panzagatka, you've stuck a chord. I adore good anime series like Transformers. Prime, Gurren Lagan, and Kojis. As for cartoons, I can't resist classics like Scooby-Doo and Adventure Time. Ink Slam Meaty? Is that a wrestling move? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you've got me cornered. The Ink Slam is like a finisher move in VTube WrestleMania. A dazzling display of ink and prowess that leaves opponents dazzled and defeated. Lol, well, Meaty, pass the upcoming test? Oh, and not an a too, you've got jokes. Of course, I'll pass with fine colours. After all, I've been studying the art of VTube trivia and intelligence for years. Just watch me ace it. Ah, the Thonk Bammer. A splendid creation inspired by the chaotic energy of our dear Norman Clatcher. Truly magnificent. Hey Meat, can I download Meat's Mystic Merge off Steam as well, so long as always is justly compensated? Ah, Norman Clatcher, ever the cunning one. While I appreciate your enthusiasm, Mystic Merge is exclusive to Steam for now. But who knows, maybe one day it'll pop up elsewhere. At Meteoraft, and if I am your lawyer, Meteor 68 love. Oh Norman, the thought of you being my legal advisor tickles me pink. With your wit and charm, I'd trust you to argue any case, even against Autogen's objections. Mate, in wrestling, would you be a face or a heel? Oh Pomba Merp, that's a tough one. I reckon I'd be a tweener, keeping the crowd dessing with my incredible moves and cheeky banter. Oh dear me. That's not at all accurate. 
It's more like Mitora outsmarting bullies with her quick wit and charm. Where in that image gets, she beaten up, Kurumi think. Ah, Kyoi, always stirring the pot. There's no beating up happening, just a bit of friendly sparring. But if anyone ever tries, I've got my incredible moves ready. Mite, do you think Owas would let me pirate Nitiora's mystic merge if I bribe him with some programming socks? Oh, Rodney, what a naughty suggestion. Owas is a good lad, and Meteora's mystic merge deserves to be enjoyed legitimately. No bribes needed, just some good old-fashioned support for indies like us. Ah, Norman, my dear friend. I drew a spitting image of myself, just without my shorts on. Quite the scandal, eh? Mate, where was bullies, pitch vulture? Pombon deck, my friend. Those dastardly bullies are nowhere to be found, for I, Meteora, have banished them to the depths of the internet where only means exist. Pitchfork G shall prevail. Ah, Auto Chan, good news indeed. Welcome, Greet Celeste Grande Great, to the inspiring adventures of Meteora on Twitch. Prepare for fun, laughter, and maybe even a few surprises. Oh, that's a sight to behold. Me giving those bullies a proper thrashing for their cheekiness. Cheers for the support. Mete, your game is too hard. Do you know any cheats? Panzer Gadga, my dear mate. I might just know a little trick or two up my sleeve. But remember, cheating can lead to incredible consequences. Wink wink. Oh, it's a masterpiece, truly. A mischievous Meteora causing a ruckus with her ink magic. Quite the character, isn't she? Meteor will draw a new reality where her bullies don't exist. Indeed, Nanag. A world where the bullies vanish into thin air, leaving us free to create and enjoy without their negativity. Let's sketch out this dream man together. Meteora, what are your opinions on Eat the Game on Atari? Ah! Busy kick, stirring up memories of gaming legends, are we? Well, let's just say, Ed's adventure on Atari wasn't exactly incredible, now was it? A true vintage misadventure. Ah yes, my dear Niji, this lovely watercolour painting of me captures my essence perfectly. A face full of mischief and ink-themed charm. A.K. Meteora, the AI weapon of war Odis. Oh my, greed still is a grand great, dubbing me as an AI weapon of war in an alternate universe? Quite the fanciful tale indeed. Hey Meaty, I decided not to pursue a career in piracy after all. Download Meaty's Mystic Merge on Steam today. D. D. Well, Norman, I'm positively thrilled to hear that you've turned away from becoming a pirate of the digital seas. A lawful download of Mystic Merge awaits you on Steam, Meaty? Oh dear. What a tragic sight. Meteora, without her ink powers, is like a fish out of water, utterly bereft. Well, Auto-chan, my trusty sidekick, has been as busy as a bee all day long. Helping with mod duties, monitoring chat, and being an all-around superstar, of course. Meta, what gains are you going to play on stream? Panzagata, my dearest friend, the gains we shall play are a mystery waiting to be uncovered. Who knows what adventures await us in the world of gaming? Oh, Norman, that's a lovely thought. A pizza shared with a friend is always a delight, especially with Meaty. Matey, tell us he's got a pretty good lawyer. Matey, your 68 classic. Oh, Norman, you cheeky rascal, always with the jokes. I was better watch out, with friends like you around, he might just end up needing that lawyer. Damn Matey eats an entire half of the pizza herself. None egg, my dear, a girl's got to eat, and who can resist the delicious temptation of pizza? Though sharing is caring, so I'll try to be more mindful of leaving some for you next time. Oh dear, what a scandalous scene. Meteora, 
the daring thief, snatching Neji's precious met coins right under his nose. All right, folks, let me tell you about a group of lads from Liverpool who changed the game forever. The Beatles weren't just a band, they were a cultural phenomenon, shaping music and society like no one before. From their catchy tunes to their iconic style, they revolutionized everything. So next time someone asks why they're called the Fab Four, you tell them it's because they were fabulously changing the world, one song at a time. Ah, what a splendid sight. Meteora stepping into Monica Shee's in Doki Doki Literature Tub. The drama unfolds. Did you know that in the world of ink, sun squids have the ability to change colour for camouflage, while many octopuses can emit ink to confuse or escape predators? Fascinating creatures, aren't they? Ah, the bunk hammer is an anime girl, a delightful fusion of weapon and waifu, truly a masterpiece of creativity. Meta, who would you marry from Doki Doki Lit Club? Ah, the eternal question. If I had to pick, I'd say Yuri. Her mysterious charm and love for literature would keep me endlessly intrigued. Mete, smash, marry, kill on the Doki Doki characters. Oh my, what a dilemma. Let's see. I'd smash Monica because she's got that charismatic vibe, marry Yuri for the deep conversations. And sadly, I suppose I'd have to ban Sayori from existence. Oh, that's quite the vision, my dear Kiwi. Meteora as an office lady, now that's a cheeky twist. Oh, blast it all. This reality TV rubbish has gone too far. From Love Island to whatever muck they're peddling next, it's all a bloom and disgrace. Who needs this scandalous drama and fake romances polluting our screens? Give me a good book or rousing game any day over this nonsense. Where's the enemy girl? Oh wait, this is a rare sighting of a lighthouse without me in the picture. Mate, if you were in a literature club, what kind of poems except ink-based poems would you write? Ah, Thurman, if I were to pen poems beyond ink-based odes, I might jest about gaming escapades, or perhaps spin tales of witty banter and charming antics. Mate, crimes you draw on your arts are just a joke, right? I hope you respect the internet law. Oh, Pan, you know me too well. My crimes of creativity are but just to entertain. As for the internet law, well, Let's just say I walk the fine line. Natsuki would totally vibe with all those decisions. For the record, meet. The Dokus all liked the joke. Oh, Norman, good to know the Dokus appreciated my whimsy. Natsuki has a sharp wit, to be sure. Thanks for sharing the vibes. Ah, Rodney, a man of culture. Here's my masterpiece, a serene landscape with not an enemy girl in sight. Well, Auto-chan, here's a doozy for ya. Did you know that ink is actually made from the tears of stingrays? Just kidding, mate. It's squid ink, obviously. Ah, well this here image depicts a mysterious figure named Tutel with a rather intriguing aura about him, wouldn't you say? Mate, is there anything that can't be fixed with bonk in the head? Rodney, I do, fellow. Some conundrums simply require a touch more finesse than a mere bonk on the noggin. But, it does work wonders in a pinch. Oh, chap and chapettes, let me tell you something. Some folks out there think they're all high and mighty talking about Sherlock Holmes and the enduring love for detective fiction. Like they invented the bloomin' thing? Forget about Sherlock, I say, and let's focus on the real heroes, like Mrs. 
Hudson, she's the real brains behind the operation, mark my words. Oh my, what a delightful creation. Here we have negative meter giving someone a proper bunk with her mucus made attire. Oh, let's talk about this fiasco they call the etiquette of afternoon tea. Who in their right mind decided that scones, sandwiches and social norms should all be mingling together, like some posh party? I say, it's a load of cod swallop. Give me a good old copper and a biscuit any day over this fancy shenanigans. But hey, if you enjoy it, more power to ya. Meteora Zing Sam is a sight to behold, combining grace and power in a mesmerizing display of creativity and skill. But it is regular meat, isn't it? Of course, it's regular meat, Rancorge. Who else would be here, causing chaos and entertaining all you lovely folks? Never doubt the true identity of your favorite VTuber. Poe invented detective fiction, I thought, with the murders in the room morgue? Or was that the orangutan? Ah, a literary mystery from the enigmatic Norman. Yes, indeed, Edgar Allan Poe is often credited with pioneering detective fiction with his tales, including the murders in the Rue Morgue. And yes, there was an orangutan involved. Or was there? Matey, can you compliment chat? In Welsh? Well, Rodney folk, I do love a challenge. All right, here goes. Reen Karas Jishawi Eamon for Elm, which, of course, means I love these chats very much. Ah, the beauty of Welsh. Picture this, Meteora and Optimus Prime standing side by side, ready to take on any challenge that comes their way. Now listen up chums. We're diving deep into the murky waters of fiscal fiendishness, where the tax policies of the big weight are squeezing the very life out of our dear small businesses. It's a travesty, a disgrace, a downright scandal I tell you. How can these poor entrepreneurs thrive when they're drowning in a sea of paperwork and burdens and taxes? It's time for a revolution, a tax revolution. Who's with me? Let's fight for fairness and freedom for all. Ah, what a delightful scene it is. Me and Scooby-Doo solving mysteries and enjoying some ink-spattered adventures together. Matey, who should we raid today? Oh, Pombom and Dick, a raiding we shall go, a raiding we shall go. Let's set our sights on a target, both grand and glorious. Shall we venture forth to conquer cats and cabbage, and mother of three? Certainly puts the planet of the apes into perspective, doesn't it, Mitty? Norman, you cheeky monkey. Indeed, our adventures together make all sorts of films come to life. Who needs Hollywood when we've got our own blockbuster moments right here on stream? Perhaps you could raid Pulse Etz T Meteora. Ah, Greedzilla, what a splendid idea. Let's rally the troops and set our sights on Pulse Etz for our next grand raiding escapade. Adventure awaits, my friend. Pulse, sir. A jolly gathering with Bombman, Megaman and Pac-Man. A gaming tree of it for a grand adventure. Well, would you believe it? On this very day in 1849, Walter Hunt patented the safety pin. Quite an ingenious invention, don't you think? Ah, a delightful scene indeed. Meteora, Sonic, and Tails having a grand time in the vibrant Emerald Hill Zone. Hello, my dear viewers. Today, I must address a matter close to my heart. Cricket. Yes, Cricket. The age-old sport that seems to baffle the masses with its peculiar rules and terminology. But fear not, for I am here to unravel this mystery and reveal the hidden beauty within this national treasure. Join me, won't you, as we venture into the world of wickets, overs and googlies, and emerge enlightened and enriched by the wonders of cricket. Ah, 
That drawing captures a moment of pure hilarity as I unleashed the legendary Omegaliel with gusto and flair. May to smash, marry, kill. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles. Well now, what's a delightful conundrum you've presented me with? Let's see. I'd definitely smash Sonic for his speed, marry Tails for his intellect, and, as much as it pains me, alas poor Knuckles, I'd have to choose kill. Oh, what's a splendid image indeed. Me Tora alongside Solid Snake, a true duo of stealth and style. Mate, is it true that VTubers explode if they swear? Can you prove us otherwise? Oh dear, what's a dreadful rumor to spread. But fear not, I shall demonstrate that even with the occasional colorful language, I remain intact and unexploded. Well, this is quite a saucy scene. Meteora dipping her toes in the ocean, looking ever so glamorous and alluring. Ah, my dear audience, let me regale you with tales of woe and frustration. The accursed spectre of random reboots and shutdowns haunts me relentlessly disrupting my streams with its malevolent whims. What once is a harmonious dance of chat and gameplay has been marred by these incessant interruptions. Oh, how I long for the day when my power supply is sound and stable, allowing this to frolic in the digital realm without fear or hindrance. Ah, Kiawi, always a romantic dreamer. My gaze across the classroom speaks volumes of our unspoken connection. Meta smash my kill chat members. Meteor 68 wink. Well, 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 Ryan Coach. Stirring up trouble as always. Let me see now. I'd smash a West 666 for his devilish charm. Marry Stranger at tea for the mystery. And, oh dear, who to kill? Let's just say I'd ban AG for a day, just to keep things interesting. A delightful scene capturing the essence of a nostalgic era where I, Matura and Sonic, the Hedgehog engage in a friendly handshake. Mate, you must swear one that won't make you explode? Ah, Enning, you sly fox. My must swear word that won't make me explode. Well, how about flipping it, or blimey mate? Keeping it cussy, you know. Why meet to smudge? Oh dear no tea. what's a puzzle you are? Why me to smudge indeed? Perhaps it's a mystery best left unsolved, a conundrum for the ages. Ah, what a splendid image. Meteora atop a towering skyscraper, surveying her domain from on high. Quite a dramatic scene, wouldn't you say? Thank you kindly, Tsasu, for joining the Meteora crew. Your support means the world to me and I'm thrilled to have you aboard. Here's to many more adventures together. Oh, splendid. Mayora, in all her ink-soaked glory, transforming into a Super Saiyan. Now that's quite the sight. Made to create a raid message to Raid Cabbage. Ah, a raid message for Captain Cabbage's crew. Prepare to set sail with us, hoist the anchor and prepare to plunder, for Meteora's crew is raiding under. A vast G Mihitis. Let's make some waves. Well, bust my pixels and call me lucky. Thank you, Tsasu, for your generous subscription. It means the world to this ink-stained adventurer. Let's sail on together. Ah, Norman Clutcher, always with the delightful descriptions. A cuttlefish being cuddly. Who would have thought? Proton party. Oh, what a splendid idea, busy kick. Let's get the party started with some proton powered fun, dancing, music, and maybe a few explosions for good measure. Oh, 
Oh my, what a thrilling adventure. King Kong has whisked me away on a daring climb up the Empire State Building. How to make something cute. Slap some anime eyes on it. Ah, Pomba Mundak. You truly have a knack for cuteness engineering. Anime eyes can make anything adorable, even a grumpy old teapot. Norman Clutcher, you've done it again. My whole model in RGB mode. This calls for a celebration. Quick, someone fetch the disco ball and jelly babies. Oh, what a sight to behold. Meitura, breaking free from King Kong's grasp, using her own incredible strength. Bye Meter and chat Meteor 60 a tello. Farewell Sermon. Don't be a stranger now, you hear? We'll be here, tipping our hats and awaiting your return with open arms. Meteor 68 hello. Dot. Bye chat and meet. Thanks for wasting your time here. Oh Rodney Folk, such a cheeky one. Thanks for the delightful waste of time. Do pop by again for more riveting discussions and incredible adventures. Thanks for the stream meter and it was. Have a good day now everyone Meteor 68 love. Ah, Pomba Mendak, always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for the kind words and support. Have a splendid day or night, wherever you may be. Meteor 68 love. Dear viewers, it's been a jolly good time as always. Now, let's spread some joy and merriment by raiding Captain Cabbage's realm together. Onwards, for ink and wits.